From the Pro Image Group of Companies, Pro Sport, in conjunction with the Victorian Football League, presents Pro Football. <laughs> Hello and welcome once again to Pro Football and our VFL action this week concentrates on the game from Windy Hill. Reigning champions Essendon take on the much improved Melbourne. Much improved, many will say, until their disappointing performance in the Fosters Cup against South Australian side North Adelaide during the week. Could they bounce back? Let's now go out to Windy Hill, incidentally, the home side, without their champion. Tim Watson, but his place has been taken by former Collingwood centreman Jeff Raines having his first game for his new club. As I said, out to the ground and in the commentary position, Arthur Higgins. Welcome to Windy Hill for the play football game between Essendon and Melbourne. As umpire Westgarth comes in to bounce the ball and send the game on its way. Madden loot it. Jeff Raines gets his first touch and out of the centre goes Wilson down to the half forward line but the Bombers come out the back through Thompson over to the captain Terry Danaher left hand hand pan pass to Hawker and Hawker gets around Batterson and the ball goes down to the centre wing where you're known nearly marked by uh, the Bombers there and the ball uh, all fall on top of it and uh, the umpire Cameron will give a free kick to Essendon as Michael Thompson comes out the centre of the ground at the half forward line. Up the back is Giles, he can't punch it away. Ezard kicks the ball off and it'll go over the line and out of bounds in front of the Essendon social stand. Well, welcome in the pro commentary uh, box with me is Arthur Higgins. Welcome to Windy Hill, Arthur. Thanks, Ray. An interesting debut today for Gary Raines. He's going to have a, a Jeff Raines, rather. He's going to have a tough debut here, isn't he? He certainly is, uh, Arthur. He's uh, a little bit of uh, controversy about uh, Jeff coming to Windy Hill, but the Essendon uh, having a few injuries this year, and uh, he certainly should fit into this side because he's a great footballer. And there he is, Jeffrey Raines, number six, as Madden takes the free kick. Kicking up towards the Essendon stand and Salmon in there. So is Wilson. And let's see what will happen here. The umpire will ball it up. In there also is Alan Ezard. Plenty of rain during the week, but the ground looks in pretty good condition. Although the umpire will throw it in the air. And there's big merit. In there, Salmon. And Salmon taking the mark and taking it well over Danny Hughes. Paul Salmon hasn't been kicking the goals that we're used to so far this season, but then again, uh, Tony, he's been used a lot in the ruck this uh, season so far, hasn't he? Yes, well, um, I think uh, Kevin's trying, Kevin Sheedy is trying to uh, keep that flexibility of the Essendon side, and uh, I feel he doesn't want to have uh, Paul Salmon being the key goal kicker, and he's also trying to use him around the ground as uh, he does with a lot of his other key players. And Salmon with the opportunity now. He's almost right in front and made no mistake with that one. So the first goal on the board for Essendon. And Essendon at the two-minute mark. One goal to Melbourne yet to score. Well, he's got so many big men around there. He can afford to swing them all around with Madden, with Merritt and Salmon. Yes, he certainly has. Uh, Arthur uh, Essendon have all, all in the last few years have been renowned for their big man strength and uh, probably the envy of other clubs. And plus the fact they're not only big men they're very flexible big men Arthur and they they've got the ability to go with it and they even people like Merritt and Vanderhaar and these guys they can bend down like a rover and, uh, and pick up a ball as quick as a small man as umpire Cameron bounces the ball not a good bounce punched out by a, a looter it goes down but Hawker takes it away from the back sends it up to the uh, half forward line where Jeff Raines and Jeffrey Raines and the Essence supporters giving him a cheer as Thompson gets the handball out Chasing it over there is Cole, Nigel Cole, the ex-Geelong player now at Melbourne. And he kicks the ball over and I think you'll find it will be over the line and out of bounds. And a free kick to the, the Bombers from Michael Thompson. Interesting to see this Melbourne side today too, Ray. Some new players in there, people like Simon Eichold and Brett Bailey and Stephen Stretch. The names that we don't readily recognise and having not seen Melbourne for a while, it'll be interesting to see how they go today. And paddling after the ball there is Greg Healy making a comeback after illness last year kept him out most of the year he's a fine player Stephen Turner with the hand pass there as Melbourne go into attack down a half forward the chance is there for David all day but a good mark taken in defence 
Brian Winton getting the ball away and once again Essendon into attack towards the center of the ground swinging into it there was Trevor Spencer but once again Melbourne picking up the ball and getting back into attack bit of bad luck there though he fell over and had the opportunity here's the chance for, for Lyon Stephen Newport and Mark Withers with the kick and almost a mark it won't be paid and Essendon out of trouble once again could almost have paid that I thought yes Arthur I thought he was a bit unlucky not to uh, to get that mark as the Melbourne big fella nearly a free kick then and not paid and uh, <laughs> big merit <laughs> yes, uh, Roger the lodger as the uh, little man Alan Ezard swoops out of the center looking for salmon again oh no could it be in the back to salmon I think you'll find yes uh, Peter Cameron although uh, Paul made it a little bit more than it was yeah. and Danny Hughes I think just maybe a little bit unlucky there Arthur but uh, Paul Salmon's been paid the free kick and the big fella should kick this he's not far out he's, he's about 40 meters out and he's going through his customary uh, getting ready for the kick tucks the shorts uh, in and uh, pulls the socks up and taking his time already has one goal on the board so a chance for Paul Sammer to make it two straight to Essendon. Looks pretty good. The crowd behind the goal pretty happy about it. And at the five-minute mark, that's the second goal to Paul Salmon. Essendon, two straight goals. Melbourne yet to score. Well, an interesting thing, Arthur. Um, Essendon um, now, have to, up to, to uh, last game they played at home, have won 16 straight at Essendon. Um, that's a record for the club. And actually, the last time they were beaten at Windy Hill was in May 1984. So that's a, a fairly long sequence of wins. But then again, Hawthorne haven't met them at Windy Hill for two years. Yes, but you're one eyed biased. Uh, towards <laughs> <laughs> we make sure you don't play out here, Arthur. It's Madden in the ruck. The chance now is for Greg Healy. And Greg Healy gets it out of the centre and a good mark taken over on the outer wing there by Michael Reynolds. Yes, it's going to be interesting to see how all these new Melbourne players fit into the side. The regulars are there like Robbie Flower and Brian Wilson. And uh, good to see Healy back in the side this year. Had, uh, I think, glandular fever kept him out of it a lot last year. Here's the chance. The umpire's whistle has sounded. What's he going to do? Is he going to bring him further upfield? I think he might bring him a little bit closer. I think the Essendon player may have infringed over the mark, so he'll get a second kick at this and be about 15 metres closer. Some of the trainers just having a look there at big Simon Madden. Nothing wrong with him. And in we go again. A chance for Melbourne now. Essendon leading two goals to Melbourne yet to score, and they've done that. There won't be the bigger cheer that you heard when Salmon kicked his goal, but there's the first on the board for Melbourne at the six-and-a-half-minute mark. So it's Essendon, two straight goals, Melbourne, one goal. Well, it's a, uh, it's a good start now for the Demons because I'm sure um, Tuesday night they didn't put a very good performance in, in South Australia, and uh, John Northey would have been very disappointed with the effort against uh, North Adelaide, but I suppose conditions over there on Tuesday night rain and uh, maybe didn't suit them so I'm sure that they've been stirred up today to put a better performance in after they had a start a good start to the season winning two games as the ball's back in the center and the demon uh, all, all port couldn't get the ball out that hits the ground it comes down to the halfback line where Melbourne go forward looking for all day but Brian Winton in front of him pushed away Winton's got it now yes picks well. it up. yes for a big man Sends it down to the centre wing. And Alan ezard has got the run now. Ezard takes his time, looking down the ground. Is he, who's he got? Salmon. No at the back. Punched away by Hughes. It hits the ground again. We're coming through. Is uh, Melbourne tapped over? Where Merritt. Big Merritt gets it. Now onto the left foot. Like a rover. Kicks it along to the centre half forward position. But Melbourne coming out the back through with Burke. And Burke sending it over there to his teammate. Handball over. Where Richards. Can he pick it up? He handballs it over the top nicely. Good play, Melbourne. And Lyon has a shot for goal. That's he done. He's put it through. A good goal there, Arthur, to uh, young Lyon. And good play by Melbourne. Eight minute mark. So scores a tied. Two goals to Melbourne. Two straight to Essendon. Both uh, goals to Paul Salmon. And the Melbourne goal there, a very fine one too. By gee, they look good when they run down the ground. they creating a loose man, uh, Arthur, and then looking good. Big Russell Richards figuring in that movement. Interesting to see how Robbie Flower goes today. Yeah, Melbourne will need the experience of Robert Flower against Essendon. But we saw Essendon struggle last, uh, last week against Footscray. So uh, let's see how Melbourne can go. Everyone expects Essendon to win and win well. But Melbourne, having won two games so far this year, are starting to look pretty good today. And they go into attack once again. And that's Daryl Burke getting it out from the centre. 
busy little player already today. Is Richards. Melbourne into attack. Here's the opportunity. Ball out wide. A chance for Stephen Turner. Has a kick at goal, but he's put it way out of bounds. And the free kick will go to Essendon. Gary Folds waiting for the ball to come back into play. Well, Gary Folds, a little short pass. Michael Thompson, and he takes it in front of Robert Flower. Uh, Robert's been asked to come back over the mark, but he uh, has... Been uh, watching uh, Larry Holmes, I think, <laughs> by the look of him. <laughs> Getting a little bit aggressive. Uh, the Brownlow medalist, Wilson, punches it away. But Shane Hurd, back uh, for his first game this year, kicks it up in the air, as these affectionately call it, Windy Hill Leminder, as Mike uh, Thompson down to the forward line. Stephen Stretch coming out, uh, backing him up as Danny Hughes. Uh, Ezard in everything as usual. And uh, is it yes, or is it... Just can't pick the pack him up. Uh, Williams. Oh, no, it's Williams, yeah. Arthur. So they all look alike, these little lesson fellas. As <laughs> Darren Williams uh, was played a free kick. And the chance to put Essendon deep into attack. He'll be looking up there for Big Salmon, who's pushing and shoving his way over the back of the pack. And uh, in the end, that cost him getting the ball because it went over the heads of all of them. There's the snapshot from Brian Wood up into the goal square and thumped through by the Melbourne players so the first behind on the board in the game so far so it's Essendon 2-1-13 and Melbourne two goals straight ten minutes into the first quarter of this game at Windy Hill perfect day for football just about no breeze at all sun is shining and the ground just a little bit soft in places we've seen the umpire throwing the ball in the air rather than bouncing it but I think that'll be the order of the day all round now Melbourne into attack again through Michael Reynolds out onto the outer wing Gary Lyon doing battle there with two Essendon opponents Is their opportunity again? A quick snapshot, but that'll be offline again, and the second time in as many minutes to out of bounds on the full, right in the same place, about five metres around from the uh, Melbourne goal. Well, Glenn Hawker, Oof. not a very good kick, but uh, Brian Wood, a perennial, the ex-Tiger. A lot of Tigers here at Essendon these days. As uh, Brian sends it down there, oh, mad, but a good mark from Brian Wilson. He gives a little nice handball over to Bailey. And he sends it right down at the forward line. Punched away by Aldo, but coming in is Michael Thompson. Gary Folds backs up nicely. A little nice soft handball over to Glenn Hawker. And Glenn sends it out from the back. But coming across for the Demon side is Burke. But, oh, Shane Hurd swoops out of it and sends it. A long kick down to the half-forward line. And he's got big Roger Merritt. They well, do they, it so easily, don't they? Well, they love this big fellow here, Arthur. There's all Salmon. Clark. Coming in as Hughes to top, stop it. And the Melbourne, good play, Melbourne. But he couldn't pick it up, the young Cole. But he's been supported by his uh, teammate in Healy. And Melbourne clear it away. Down to the half forward line. It's punched away, coming through. Uh, oh, Chance here. Yeah. Healy's can't pick it up as the Melbourne side, where uh, looks like that's Reynolds. Reynolds. Yeah. Uh, a nice great game. Play. It certainly is, Arthur. He's in everything at the moment, Reynolds. He's got the ball in there to, uh, I think that's Gary Lyon. And Gary Lyon, just about 25, 30 metres out directly in front, with a chance to get Melbourne in front for the first time in the match so far. It's Essendon 2-1-13, uh -huh. Melbourne two goals, 12. So here's Gary Lyon with his opportunity. If he can kick straight, Melbourne will have the lead. Looks pretty good from here too. It's there. So Gary Lyon puts his first goal on the board. Melbourne's third, it's three goals. No behinds, 18 points at the 12 and a half minute mark. Essendon to 113. So Melbourne is sticking at the task. They're doing quite well, Arthur, and they're moving the ball well. Um, and they seem to be creating, creating the loose man a lot better than Essendon. And uh, the Demons uh, are faring very well in early part of the game. These two sides, actually, Arthur, have played 168 times uh, since uh, the inception of the game, and Essendon having won 101 of those contests to Melbourne 65, and Melbourne are hoping to improve on that record today. As they come out of the centre, no, uh, oh, Jeff Raines gets his kick. Um, Clark, but Hughes backing up for Melbourne, kicks it over to the wing, and Glenn Hawker punts it away. Well, not a bad crowd out here at Windy Hill, and... Uh, a little bit of moisture we've had late in the week has made the ground just a little bit soft and may help the players uh, getting those hard leg injuries they normally do get at this time of the year. Stephen Turner in there with Big Madden. Stephen Turner just about getting the best of that, uh, that ruck work, but the umpire will call for the ball as two or three players dive on top of it. 
Melbourne doing pretty well so far in the match. They're leading three goals straight to 2-1-13. Up they go, Matten gets the palm away. And that's where, that's where Essendon are looking good, but Melbourne always seem to chip in and get that ball away on that half-back line. Here's the chance now as they go forward again. Almost a push in the back there, but the umpire let it go. That was Greg Healy in there, burrowing in for the ball. Melbourne into attack once again. The ball kicked towards centre-half forward. Almost a mark taken there by Stephen Stretch, but he couldn't quite stretch enough to get hold of it. The Essendon fans will be happy about that. That's Jeff Raines getting the hand pass away. And once again, Essendon into attack. Roger Merritt coming through. Tony Elshaw, the ex-demon. Over to Brian Wood. The Who's ex-tiger. Yes, ex-tiger. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's every club's got these players now, haven't they, Arthur? As the ball comes to the forward line, Salmon couldn't hold it. Burke coming in is Stephen Stretch. And young Burke will clear the ball out to the boundary I think it might be is it out of bounds on the fall yep. I think it is so Darren Williams uh, down that parochial uh, end of the ground where all the Essendon grandstands are and all their half one eyed supporters halfway through the first quarter 15 minutes into the first quarter and the score at the moment is Melbourne three goals straight 18 but this is a chance for uh, Essendon to hit the front once again as Michael Thompson takes a good mark. He's only about 20, 25 metres out, almost directly in front. And this should put Essendon back in front. They're 2-1-13 at the moment and the chance to go into the lead. Well, Michael Thompson, the uh, local boy from Ab Aberfeldy. Looks pretty good. I think he's put it through, I think, yes. And the Bombers are back in front here at the 16-minute mark. Essendon go on to three goals, one, 19 points. And Melbourne to three goals, 18 points. I haven't seen very much of Robbie Flower in the game so far, out on this wing, just uh, down in front of our broadcasting box at Windy Hill. It's been very quiet so far. Some of the better players for the Demons so far are Michael Reynolds and also Gary Lyon and Danny Hughes in defence. He's had plenty to do down there with Big Salmon to contend with. Salmon already kicked two goals. Bounce of the ball once again. That's a better bounce. Almost went straight. Chance is there for Wilson to kick it away. But he kicks it straight to his Essendon opponent. And here's the chance for Brian Wood now. Another hand pass from Essendon. Using the hand pass well. That's Jeff Raines driving it up to centre-half forward. Who's up there? Salmon almost takes a one-hander. Williams is appealing for the ball. But there's a pack of players on it. And the umpire will say it's mine. Well, uh, umpire Westgarth says... Give it to me, fellas, and let's clear it out. He throws it up again. As Arthur said, the ground a little bit soft and uh, not prepared to bounce the ball. As I think uh, would be a free kick there. I'll um, keep going to Essendon. Well, to Essendon's Merit. favourite son, Merritt. Yes. Big Roger. Well, uh, he's uh, having a little bit to say early in this game, Arthur. A good footballer. Yes, a tough footballer too, which uh, makes him even harder. Uh, he, he likes a good, tough, hard contest and uh, gives as much as he takes. It looks like he's been playing about 17 quarters before this game, and it's only the 10-minute mark. Uh, yeah, there's a few very soft uh, spots on the ground, as I guess that's uh, likely after the rain we've had over the last couple of days. So here's Big Merritt, chance to get Essendon further ahead. Looks pretty good. No, he's hit the post. So another behind to Essendon, 3-2-20, and they're leading Melbourne three goals straight 18. Bad luck for Merritt there. Looked good all the way off the boot and just swung away at the last moment and hit the top of the post. I noticed the Essendon fans weren't getting too excited as the ball was on its way. Now Melbourne into attack. Good long kick out from the goal square. Here's the chance now as Michael Thompson bends, turns and gets his right foot to the ball, driving it back to half forward. Up they go for it. There's Merritt and Salmon in there too. Plenty of height for Essendon. But the ball hits the deck and Melbourne get it away well. And there once again into it is Brett Bailey, who's had quite a few possessions in the first quarter so far. Looking out wide there for Dale Dixon. Melbourne right on the wing, swing it towards Richards, but he can't take it. Healy's battling in there too, and let's see, the free kick will go to Essendon. Well, Gary Foles takes it out of the back. He's got Simon Madden in the centre, and the uh, the big fella just uh, puts his uh, hand uh, down Stephen Turner's throat and over to Kevin Walsh, and the big spitfire kicks it down to half forward. Over the back is Paul Salmon. No, the umpire won't play that. Oh, and the Essendon crowd having a little bit to say about that. Well, I'll, I'll go with the umpire. I thought it was touched in flight then. He grabbed it off somebody else's hand, I think. Yes, well, I may have to have to tend to agree with you, Arthur. Uh, there's Salmon. At the back is Trevor Spencer. Down to Alan Ezard. And he streaks in. Thank you very much, he says. 
And he's so quick, that fellow. Will it to the wisp, and he does that so often. So it takes the Bombers under four goals to 26 points. Melbourne, three goals, 18. An eight-point uh, lead at the 19-minute mark here at Windy Hill. Well, Alan Ezard is just so dangerous once that ball comes off the top of the pack, and he usually works in tandem with Paul Salmon and big Roger Merritt up there. And once the ball hits the ground, and that bloke's anywhere near it, you can put away the glasses. He's in there very quickly. Yeah, well, you'd suggest, Arthur, a good little man in this Essendon side would have to do well with yep. all the tall timber down forward. Umpire Westgarth is coming in to uh, bounce the ball. That's Peter Cameron, sorry. It's a better bounce too. Big Madden up there, couldn't quite get to it. Kick away by Stephen Turner, but again, Jeffrey Raines gets the ball away. He's a good long kick too. He's going to go well in this Essendon side if he can kick balls out of the centre like that with people like Salmon and Merritt and Madden up forward. Here's the chance now for Brian Wood. Brian Wood swinging it onto his right boot. The mark, is it taken? Yes, it is. Another good mark taken there by Trevor Spencer. And Spencer should kick this one. He's on a very slight angle, as you can see the umpire just moving him around a bit. Bad luck for big Stephen Turner. I thought almost uh, saved the day for Melbourne there, but this bloke was in pretty quickly. So Trevor Spencer, a chance to kick Essendon's fifth. Still plenty of time in the game, of course. We're just into the first quarter. That's the kick, and it's straight through the middle. The Essendon fans behind the goal wave the flags, and Essendon go to 5-2-32, and Melbourne three goals straight. Well, Kevin Sheedy's got a, a big, repu uh, big uh, reputation on this uh, young fella, Trevor uh, Arthur. He's from Queensland, and they've got a high opinion of him here at Essendon. A big, strong fella, and can take a strong mark. And once again, that gives them another avenue of height in the air, which Essendon have seen to have. I don't know what they breed them on up there in Queensland, but we saw another uh, tallish, very strong young forward come down here to VFL last year in Jason Dunstall over at Hawthorne from Cooparoo. And uh, they must feed them something spent. Joe's bananas, I'd say. I up think there. it's the fresh air they and make the them sunshine. tough. Fresh air and sunshine, Arthur. Just noticing him standing next to Ezra before he's quite a tall player too, Spencer. Is Madden over the top, thumping it away to Williams. Williams, the left foot kick, not effective. And once again, oh, Healy almost caught there. They, they move up and put so much pressure on these Essendon players. But Melbourne so far seem to be holding their own. Here's the chance again, and they'll get the free kick out of this. And the free will go to Dale Dixon. Dixon swinging it up to half forward. No chance there to take a mark. But still, Melbourne persisting. Oh. Well, Essendon away now. Gary Foles. Melbourne just couldn't take the ball in as uh, Shane Hurd taps in, but the Demons take it away. Thompson. They're not looking for their men, Melbourne. They just seem to be kicking wildly and not selecting a player to kick to. They're not kicking two position. At this stage, yes, they're just hoping to get down forward, where Essendon's looking like that they've got a, they're looking for their team, uh, team man. As, uh, Turner Madden. man, yeah. Yeah, count down. No one can control the ball. A little bit scrambly, and Peter Cameron says, fellas, let's clear it away. And we're looking uh, into the first quarter here at Windy Hill with the Bombers uh, 32 to Melbourne 18, a 22-minute mark. There's uh, going to be a push then. No, the umpire says, no, anyone? Oh, Thompson, can he was, I think the umpire, no, no free kick. Very scrambly, Arthur. Yes, that's Lyon getting the kick away, and once again, it's uh, ineffective. And uh, here's the chance for Terry Danaher. Hasn't been in the game so far this quarter. In fact... I'd say his Melbourne opponent has been giving him a bit of a bath down there so far, but he's uh, got Essendon into attack once again, swinging it up to the centre of the ground. Here's the chance now for Melbourne to get out through little Mark Withers. Good hand pass, moving on to Stephen Newport, one of the newer players at uh, Demon Land. Out wide, the chance is there for David all day, but pushed through the goals that time, and just a point. Brian Winton in there for Essendon. 3-1-19 Melbourne, 5-2-32, 23 minutes gone in the first quarter. Brian Winton, another ex-Richmond player, kicking it down a centre-half back. Jeff Raines, and the Essendon crowd start to cheer as he kicks the ball down to the half of the line, and there he is again, Roger Merritt. Wouldn't know how to play a bad game. I don't think you have to worry about it, Paul. He can look after himself. <laughs> and uh, Roger, Roger, I think, does a little bit of part-time work at the Princess Theatre, Arthur. Yes. Like a little bit of acting, but... Uh, in the lead role, too, by the look of that one. Role, Definite it, Oscar material. The fans love it. <laughs> the fans love it. He looks like he uh, works on the, on the local garbage truck with those socks down. As he kicks it down, and he's found uh, Spencer. And the young Queenslander 
Well, the young ex-Queenslander has taken a strong mark. Actually, he played well last week at uh, Waverley when uh, Paul Salmon was uh, struggling down forward with Kennedy of Footscray and kicked three goals in the third quarter, this young fella. So, this and have certainly got a, uh, a potential fella in this boy, is Spencer. Oh, straight through. I think he's just offline. No. Offline. So, um... One more point. What's that? 5-3? 5-3. 33 to Melbourne. 3-1, 19. 25 minutes gone here at Windy Hill. Essendon and Melbourne in competition. And so far, a good duel in the centre between Essendon's new player in Geoffrey Rains and uh, Brian Wilson, the former Brownlow medalist. And I think at the moment, you've got to give it to Rains so far. He's having the best of that duel. Now, the chance for Melbourne to go into attack once again over the top was uh, an Essendon player, but the free kick and the mark will go to Mark Withers. Withers driving it up forward, out wide to the half-forward flank. There's a good mark taken once again by Healy, who plays on straight away. No opponent there. Swings around onto the right foot and puts it through. A great goal for Melbourne. Good play from Healy. Took the mark, turned onto his left foot, spun away from the Essendon opponent and put it straight through the middle. So a much needed goal to Melbourne, 4-1-25 to 5-3-33 3, 3, and we're just into time on in the first quarter. Well, that's, that's a brightener for Melbourne. Well, certainly they are hanging in there, Arthur, and I keep, we keep saying that uh, every time Mel Essendon step on the ground, there should be 12 goals in front, but... Melbourne's not a bad side, and uh, they're really staying with us at the moment, and it was a good goal from Healy. Madden again, and Turner in ruck, and Turner will have very, very sore thighs tonight. You watch Madden every time he goes in, there's two boots that go in there and help him too. That's what you've got to do in the ruck. Oh, the umpire said, Michael, um, Mark Thompson, you didn't get rid of the ball, and he's going to pay a free kick to uh, Russell Richards. Uh, the Essendon crowd not very happy with that, and neither was uh, young Thompson. Russell Richards was, though. He thinks he can kick this. Let's see if he can. He's just out of the square. There it is. He's a pretty long kick of the ball, and he's kicked it long, all right, but the accuracy isn't there and through for just one point. So it's 4 2 26 to Melbourne, 5 3 33. 26 and a bit minutes gone in the first quarter here at Windy Hill. Essendon back into play again. Uh, Winton sending it back down to the wing. Punched away there by Newport. Trapped by Williams. Yes, was good play there as he sends it across to the centre. Roger Merritt again. Well, Mark Withers uh, took his life into his own hands in and tried to shirt front big Roger. Well, that was gutsy stuff. Withers is only about knee high to me. Like a Vespa running into a uh, tow truck. Yes. It was a game little bit of play. That There's the umpire throwing the ball in the air once again. That area of the ground very soft with all the rain we've had during the week. The chance is there now for Adrian Batterson to get it away. But the ball and Batterson manhandled over the line by Daisy Williams. Right in front of the Essendon Social stand with all their supporters cheering on the home team. Yes, a Melbourne player's not likely to get a compliment out there, is he? I, I think it'd be like trying to get a, um, a flower on a drought. He'd be struggling to get it as the ball hits the ground. Brett Bailey on the bottom of the pack. There's Wilson going in. The ball's kicked clear of the pack. Oof, almost kicking in danger and was paid. That was against uh, number 46, Darren Lutet. The big fella from Melbourne, and the free kick will go to Roger Merritt. Well, Roger threw himself on that and uh, certainly got the free kick out on that effort. Salmon, no, Spencer. Spencer again. Gee, he looks like him at times, the way he leads. They certainly look alike. He's tall and he leads well, and he just looked like Salmon the way he came out of the goal square that time. Well, a chance for his second goal. He's kicked 1-1 so far. I thought he'd kick that uh, second one, but uh, only threw for a behind. So one goal, one so far for this pretty exciting forward for Essendon, Trevor Spencer. From Jindalee in Queensland. That's uh, just outside Brisbane. And it looks like he's kicked it this time. The umpire says yes, and the second goal on the board for Trevor Spencer. So Essendon go to 6-3-33. We've played just over 28 minutes, in the, uh, 39 rather, 6-3-39 to 4-2-26. Almost 29 minutes gone. Yes, Jinder Lee uh, not playing in the Queensland Australian Football League. They're in one of the minor leagues out there. But I saw them play in a curtain raiser to one of the big QAFL games last year. And I'll tell you what, they've got some pretty good players around the Jinder Lee area, and that bloke is one of them. Good potential up there uh, in North. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Big thump from Madden. Melbourne. 
Come out of the uh, centre. Mark Thompson, Gary Folds, Russell Richards, handballs Folsey over the top of uh, Healy. And Jeff Rains. Look at the kick. Magnificent kick. Merritt tries to tap it on. Uh, young Withers comes in. Handballs over to Burke. And Burke of the Demons, and he's got Brian Wilson. Looks down the ground and a very nice little pass. Well, earlier I said that's what they weren't doing. Let's hope Melbourne can do that now because that's the first bit of direct play they've had so far and it might just pay off for them. Healy now taking a set shot. Thinks he can kick it from there. They'll need this to stay in the game. We're almost at quarter time and they're just uh, over a goal behind. There's the kick. Looks pretty good. Is it through? It is. So at the 29 and a half minute mark, that's the fifth goal on the board for Melbourne. 5-2-32 and Essendon 6-3-39. Well, there you are. They look for position, look for their men, play to position, and it pays off for them. Quite a high-scoring game, Martha. 11 goals kicked in the first quarter. It's perfect weather for it today. It's, it's not too hot. It's around about, what, 16, 18 degrees. No wind out there to speak of and mm. perfect for football. Yeah, well, it's unusual for Essendon not to have a wind out here. Well, the only thing for Melbourne to worry about is they're playing at Windy Hill and they're playing Essendon. Well, they're not uh, overawed at this stage. It's Roger Merritt has a long kick. Is Paul Salmon yes. there? And the big fella has taken the mark on the chest in front of Danny Hughes. And uh, he and young Spencer are sharing the honours down there. And it's giving Melbourne really a tough assignment to hold a fella like Paul Salmon, who's six foot nine, and young Spencer, who's about six foot four, six foot five. And you certainly have to have your wits about you to hold fellas that high. And then if they're not taking marks and kicking goals, Shitty can also swing Madden or uh, Merritt up there. Siren goes. And Madden... Uh, Madden? <laughs> Salmon has the chance to kick his uh, second goal and uh, third goal in this first quarter. There it is. It's straight through the middle. There's no doubt about that. So at quarter time, it's Essendon 7-3-45 to Melbourne 5-2-32. And welcome back to Windy Hill for this uh, fourth round match for pro football between Essendon and Melbourne. Essendon holding the lead at quarter time, 7-3-45, but Melbourne hanging in there, 5-2-32. It's the bounce of the ball and the ruckman in there for Melbourne was big Stephen Turner. And this so far is where Essendon have been winning the game with Jeff Raines having a good debut so far. Right? Certainly has, Arthur. And a good footballer. And... Uh... Certainly will fit well into this Essendon side. As uh, Melbourne through Brett Bailey. Sending it down to the half forward line. In the front is Salmon now on the ball. Over the top to Gary Lyon. To Brian Wilson. Little turn. Handballs a bit to Brian Witten. The full back for Essendon. Gets it. Paul Salmon again. Gary Wilson and Brian Wilson and Gary Foles. A nice one handed pick up by uh, Terry Denner. Who I think you'll find will get a free kick. If he didn't, the supporters would have just about pulled the, the stand down. <laughs> Hasn't had too many kicks so far, Terry Danaher. Been a very quiet player today for Essendon so far, but he's the sort of player who can all of a sudden get right into the game and be a match winner. There's his kick. Good long one. Looking for Wood, but over the top, almost taking the mark, was um, Donnell. The umpire will come in and probably throw this ball in the air. They've been bouncing it okay in the centre, which is a bit surprising. That's usually the softest spot, but it seems the wings are also soft. Turner over the top. It's the uh, thump away, but once again, a big pack of players fall on the ball. And the umpire says, the free to go to Essendon. Waves play on into attack. And what did I say about Dano? All of a sudden, he's had two possessions in as many uh, minutes in the second quarter. But Melbourne players hanging in. Plenty of pressure on them from Essendon. Here's their chance to get it clear now. Good tackle again by Essendon. They smother well, they tackle well, and they put heaps of pressure on everybody. Look at it out there now. There it is again. Hawker in there. Wood. Pushed away again. Back to Hawker. He can't get a kick at it. Scrappy play at the moment. Healy. Healy held by Foles. And the Essendon player fans aren't too happy about that. But the free kick will go to Healy kicked a magnificent goal in that first quarter. Healy sending the ball down forward. Three-minute three mark gone here in the second quarter. What can Melbourne do here? They can't. Richards, Reynolds, Essen trying to get it out through uh, Thompson. And he is going to pay a free kick to Melbourne. Well, I don't know about that rule sometimes, Arthur. 
the young Thompson goes in, he picks the ball up, tries to make the play, and then all these other Melbourne players descend on top of him. How, 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 how can he do anything else but get the ball? And uh, I feel that sometimes that free kick can go a little bit each way. And uh, Would you say he tried to get the hand pass away? Well, I think he may have tried, but uh, I suppose the umpire's there and we're not. And uh, it's right uh, in front by uh, Richards. Russell Richards. Yes, yep. and Richards has put it through. And uh, that takes Melbourne on to 6-2, 38, trailing Essendon 7-3, 45 at the three-minute mark. Well, a contentious point, but I, I thought he might have had time to get... He did try to get a hand pass away, but the umpire was right there on the spot and gave the free kick to Russell Richards. At least it means that Melbourne are hanging in at 6-2 to 7-3. But so much pressure from these uh, Essendon players. You can see it every time a Melbourne player goes near the ball. He's got two or three red and black Guernseys on top of him. Madden pushes it away, although Stephen Turner's done pretty well in the ruck so far for Melbourne. Melbourne into attack. There it is again. Look at those Essendon shirts. They're everywhere. Kicked away by Foles. Out towards centre wing. Chasing it out there for Melbourne is Daryl Burke. Picked up by Chris Connolly. Almost oh. a throw. And there's good a tackle. very similar good decision. Tackle, yeah. yeah, good tackle. Jeff Raines, good tackle, Arthur. Uh, he really uh, went out after uh, Connolly then. And I'm sure that he'd be... Really revved up to play his first game as Turner and Madden. Madden hits it over the back, putting his head down as Jeff Reigns again. He's in there trying to get it. It's hit out by Madden. Wilson gets the ball. And, uh, well, you should be playing that free. Well, I, fair enough. He's been consistently umpire. And Alan Ezard gets the free. As uh, Ezard sending the Bombers forward up to the half-forward line. And out the front is Roger Merritt. Oh, beautiful football, Roger Merritt. Left his big mouth. Melbourne opponent standing. Has a shot for goal. And the skills of this fella. Six foot five, 16, 15 and a half stone. He does it like a rover. Unbelievable player, uh, Roger Merritt. Four and a half minutes gone. Uh, 8-3 Essendon. 8-3 51 Melbourne 6238 and he is a great player Arthur he certainly is he's shown it in the last two grand finals against uh, my side Hawthorne and uh, if they ever want to give him away I'm sure we'll take him down at Glen Ferry Oval he's a great player I must admit I do load it a bit for you Arthur so it just <laughs> makes you get a bit nervous in September <laughs> I keep having this dream about the last Saturday in September and all these red and black blokes falling all over Hawthorne players. We'll get a few ladders down to Hawthorne for you so you can catch up with them in the <laughs> finals. All right. Here's the bounce of the ball. Umpire Cameron. Up goes Madden's. Turner's in there battling for the ball. The chance is there for Wilson. He can't get it. Look at the players everywhere. Big pack of them. But Hawker gets it clear, kicks it out towards the centre wing. The bounce of the ball out there doesn't favour Chris Connolly. Look at this beautiful play from number 12, Stephen Clark. Essendon into attack once again. Merritt with the hand pass. There's another chance now for, is that uh, number 34, Michael Thompson. Here's Merritt again, battling for the ball. Down he goes. He still won't let it go. Pushes it out in front of him. The umpire plays call on, or calls play on, and now says, I'll bounce it. But very good football. Merritt never gave up that time. He was in there, chasing, smothering, trying to get a hand pass away, and now he's in ruck. <laughs> he just doesn't give up. A big thump there from a Melbourne player. The whistle's gone, and the free kick will go to Melbourne. Um, well, Melbourne, Darren Lutet, the, the big fella. Uh, Roger having a talk to uh, Peter Cameron about where he should stand. Down to the wing. Likes to umpire a bit too, doesn't he, Roger? Uh, yes, yes. Well, I guess he. if I was Roger Merritt, I'd try and take control of the game. But I suppose if you can get away with it, Arthur, it's, uh, it's worth trying. Experienced players always do that, don't they? A bit of gamemanship, I think they call it. Sure. Umpire Westgarth. Turner and Madden, no favour there. It comes out uh, for the Bombers and coming through nicely. Melbourne, sending it down to the half-forward line. Oh, players miss it. Hawker can't trap it. Coming through there is Richards, or Reynolds. And Reynolds, Jeffrey Reigns, handballs it out to no one in particular. And a little uh, underground kick there by uh, Terry Danaher. Simon Madden up to the half-forward line, up the back. And here's this young fella, Spencer again. Oh, he's looking good today, and Danny Hughes certainly has got his hands full, and the young fellow has marked around about 45 metres out directly in front. He has kicked uh, so far in the game um, two goals, and Trevor Spencer playing a very good game. Should kick this too. He has. 
Magnificent kick from Spencer, straight through at the seven and a half minute mark, and that's the ninth goal on the board for Essendon. By gee, this bloke's a find. <laughs> Just what the other teams in the league don't need is another bloke who can lead out, take marks and kick goals. Well, they uh, certainly pop them up, don't they? Uh, but you can only fit so many in. You can't have 18 six foot five players out, so don't, oh, uh, don't, get too, don't get too <laughs> worried about it. We're going to try and get a, uh, this and they're going to try and get a six foot seven wingman, but they can't find anyone to, to run that fast yet. Good uh, bounce of the ball. Madden again thumps it away. He's having the best of the duels now in the second quarter after a rather even first quarter. And away they go. A good hand pass from Jeffrey Rains, who's giving uh, Brian Wilson a bit of a bath out there today. A kick over from Elshaw. Unable to mark it. And look at Merritt chasing after the Melbourne players. Out wide. Here's the chance now. Melbourne into attack. Through the centre of the ground. Wilson. Up forward. Can he take the mark? He does. Good mark taken by number 37, David Alday. A chance to kick his first goal. And Melbourne seventh. Umpire bringing them around onto the angle. Melbourne a bit desperate for a goal here. Three goals behind early into the second quarter at Windy Hill. There's the kick from all day. Looks pretty good off the boot. The umpire moves across slightly. Not much joy for the Essendon fans behind, and that means it's a goal. So the first goal on the board for all day and the seventh for Melbourne. At the nine-minute mark of the second quarter, Essendon 9-3-57 to Melbourne 7-2-44. Well, today's game has been brought to you by Pro Football from Windy Hill. And 13-point uh, uh, lead to the Bombers. And Melbourne not... Uh, not being shake, shaken off at this stage, and they're uh, certainly you, uh, certainly giving as much as they can at the moment as Madden and Turner. Well, could have been a free there to Turner, but uh, Shane Hurd gets it out of the centre directly. Spencer comes out to trap the ball, but the Demons get it away down to the centre of the ground where uh, it's uh, 41. Uh, would disturb and Tina Turner as uh, Essen Roger Merritt again. He's in everything. As he's he's gone his hands and knees. Great play, Hurd. Over to Wood. Wood can't do it. So Withers says, I'll take it. And uh, Batterson says, I'll take it and show you how to do it. As Healy, good handball. Over to Bailey. Bailey down to the forward line. And we find the Melbourne player, Nigel Cole, the extra long player, taking a mark in front around about 35 metres out. And down the Essendon grandstand end. And as you can tell by the crowd reaction, very quiet as Cole... Puts it right through the middle, and Melbourne coming. Another goal closer. So that moves them on to eight goals, 250. Ten and a half minute mark. Essendon, 9 3, 57. Notice Glenn Hawker limping a little bit there, too, after that exchange. And also, the bad luck for Melbourne is the fact that uh, Robbie Flower is off the ground. Uh, one of these days, he will play four quarters for Melbourne. And by gee, that'll lift him. Uh, he was playing pretty well early in the first quarter, but then went very quiet. And I notice now he's off the ground. and. I don't know whether we'll see him again today. So that's a bad blow for Melbourne. That was something they didn't need. Matten hands it down. Just about caught in the centre there. Certainly has had a lot of bad luck in the last couple of years, Arthur uh, Robert Flower. And, you know, 1973 started his career. He's had 253 games. But it seems in the last couple of years he hasn't had much chance to add to that tally. I wonder if we'll see an end to a brilliant career with another retirement, as we saw earlier this week with... Um, a very good player in uh, Templeton, but injuries, and when you keep getting injuries like that, the temptation is to say, thanks a lot, that'll do me. Now, Melbourne into attack once again. We'll come back into this game in this quarter so far. There's the chance for Healy, is pretty quick. Spoiled by his own teammate, though, and once again, the Essendon players swarm onto the ball. Elshaw kicking it away. Up to the centre of the ground. There's another opportunity for Merritt. Could have got a push in the back. Hawker kicks it off the ground towards Danaher. Can he pick it up? He does. Gets the hand pass away. But the Melbourne defence in there. And Darren Lutet getting it out wide. And there again. Good hand pass away to Michael Reynolds. Good tackle. The Essendon fan screaming for the free kick for holding the ball. Danaher onto his right boot. A hurried kick. Looks like it could be out of bounds. Is it on the fall? It is. Free kick going there to 21. Michael Reynolds back in the fence now after being in attack for most of the game so far. Well, Michael Reynolds sending it down to the centre of the ground. The pack fly. Oh, Kevin Walsh. Good strong mark. And uh, this fella 
has certainly uh, shown Kevin Sheedy's faith in his ability because the Eastern supporters didn't really like him a couple of years ago, but he's now developed into one of their top liners. As the Bombers go forward, up to oh. Salmon. Oh, he's missed it. Roger Merritt, give it to me, <laughs> Paul, and I'll pop it through. And, uh, Zero, dear. Look at the face on Salmon. He says, thanks, Rod. <laughs> I needed that. He, it was such a sitter. He got such a shock. He dropped it, tried to kick it off the ground, couldn't get near it. And have a look at the smile on the fish's face there. And finally, it was Big Merritt who came in and kicked it off the ground. Yes, I wonder what he would have done if he missed it altogether. Well, 13 minutes gone. It's 10 3 8 2 50. Well, I certainly, uh, Roger's playing a great game today. And uh, when you're hot, you're hot. And yeah. uh, Paul Salmon just, uh, well, luckily it wasn't a Melbourne player there because it would have certainly been a point because the Melbourne player would have got his hands on it or he's put on it as Simon Madden. Peter Bradbury on the ground, uh, just replacing um, uh, Glenn Hawker. Michael Thompson down to the forward line. Who's at the back? Players go up, uh, punched away. It's um, oh, Paul Salmon can't take it. You've got uh, Dale Dixon in there, and it comes out the back to Brian Wood. And Brian Wood, the ex-Richmond captain, has taken the mark in the on the half forward line. What's his direction? He's looking for Salmon. Over the back is uh, Hughes. Punched it down. Hughes again traps it. Players, Bre Peter Bradbury, um, Peter Cameron says, uh, I better ball it up because the game is going nowhere at this stage. And if that ball had bounced right, I reckon young Stephen Clark would have been in there like a shot. It just didn't bounce right for him. Here's the chance now, though. A kick off the ground that time. That was Ezard in there. Melbourne defenders swarming in on top of the ball. I think the umpire's going to call for it here. He will. So a chance for Essendon. It's still in a very dangerous position for Melbourne, just about 10 metres out from the uh, Essendon goal. Brian Wood starting to come into the game pretty well now too. Well, certainly the game is uh, not that scrambly. I know the last few minutes it has been, but there's been 18 goals uh, scored and uh, we're into the second quarter, so it's a high-scoring game. And a very accurate game so far too. OK, so uh, the ball will come in from the boundary. You've got... Uh, Hughes and Merritt there and Spencer coming in behind the support. The Demons trying to get it out and I think uh, he'll break it up with a free kick and that's going to Stephen Newport. Had so to come, play was pretty scrappy there just outside the goal square. So here's Newport getting Melbourne out of trouble, kicking out towards centre wing and uh, a good mark taken. Jeffrey Raines having a great debut today. Hand pass across to Elshaw. Elshaw drives it up forward again looking for either Spencer or Salmon. Here's the chance now for Essendon. Oh, Danaher just missed it. And away it comes. Kick clear that time by Mark Withers. Donnell takes the mark for Essendon, looks for the hand pass. Brian, uh, Kevin Walsh goes down the four line. Stephen Clark, left foot snap. What's he done? And the little goal sneaks popped it through. And they've got that many of them, Essendon. Ezard, Williams, Clark, and Stephen Clark pops in for his goal. So Essendon move on to 11 goals, 3, 69. Melbourne 8 2 50, 15 and a half minutes gone, a 19 point lead here in the second quarter at Windy Hill for the pro football game between Essendon and Melbourne. Stephen Clark making up there for the one that I mentioned a couple of minutes ago that he just missed when the ball didn't bounce his way. That time it did, and a good snapshot over the right shoulder there. Well, every time Essendon get this break, Melbourne get back a goal, and so let's just see if Melbourne can return the, uh, the score. As Madden again uh, gets the hit out, but you'll find that. Uh, There'll be a free kick there to Essendon Arthur. Did you see what yes, that was Yes, he, he went in a bit high over the shoulder. No, Gave Madden off. a bit of a cuff around the jaw. Friendly one, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, Essendon jaws are all about six foot eight, so I don't That's, know you can uh, reach them. It's a problem getting up there, isn't it? That's Merritt kicking the ball down ground. Here's the chance for Essard. It bounces his way. Kicked off the ground to Salmon. Salmon pops it through. Good play by Alan Ezard. He was in like a shot that time. Kicked it off the ground straight to Salmon. And Salmon made no mistake that time. 16 and a half minutes gone. And 12-3, 8-2-50. Good accurate kicking by both teams so far. But a 25-point lead at this stage in the second quarter to Essendon. Well, Paul Salmon's... Uh Goal. How many goals has Paul Salmon kicked, Arthur? Uh, that's his fourth. Three in the first quarter, including the one that uh, he kicked after the siren. And that's his fourth goal. So it looks like a bag of goals for Paul Salmon today. He's amongst them again. No one again. It. There's Shane Hurd. Gary Lyon. Michael Thompson hits it over the top of him. Here's Ezard again. Arthur said a busy player. 
Melbourne get it away though. Gary Folds, and uh, what a great player he's been in his career for Essendon over the last 11, 12 years. As Melbourne go forward, up the back. Oh, oh what a brilliant mark. mark there by uh, Bert, Bailey. Bert Bailey. Oh, he got up high. <laughs> that would have to be on the uh, one of the marks of the day tomorrow, I'd say, on the uh, on World of Sport. It's a kick from Bailey. Good kick. Pushed through for a point, though. I like the way he got up high and took it on the way down. As Jack Dye used to say, he hovered. Is that right? Yes. Hung in the air. Essendon. Nobody there, so kicks it to himself. And out they come once again. But not a good kick. The chance is there for Batterson. Across the, the face of the goals. Now, can Melbourne pick it up in their battling is withers? No, it's away once again. Good defensive play by Brian Wood. Out wide, but his kicks astray and drops straight into the arms of big Stephen Newport. And he'll get a 15-metre free kick. It'll take him just that little bit closer to goal. Right foot kick from Newport. But dashing in. Good play from Essendon that time. Michael Thompson. Mark Thompson. Yet Stand. again, another chance for Melbourne through Darren Lutet. Here's the kick up forward. Looking for some tall timber down there. Up they go. Again, it's Hurd. Can't gather the ball. It bounces off his knees and through for another point to Melbourne. So 8-4-52 to Melbourne. 19 minutes gone in the second quarter. Essendon, a handy lead, 12 goals, 3.75. Well, Brian Witten kicks it to himself and then uh, didn't get much, gain much from that, but then sends it out there and Brian Wood in front of uh, Batterson. Three. And there will be three or a mark. He's got the choice. And Empire Westgarth says, give it back. Another 15-2. Didn't deliver the ball. Oh, no. Well, he hasn't fallen for that, Arthur. He's decided not to pay that. That normally is paid. So, Brian Wood, the veteran, is now <laughs> of the Essendon side. And, uh, oh, what, what's he doing? I don't think Being he's kicking. pedantic, I think. Well, I think it's, uh, he's not kicking for goal. So, what's he making come around his mark? Anyway, Brian Wood, down to the centre, over the back. Stephen Clark, Dixon, Three. there'll be a free kick against you, uh, Dixon. And... Um, professional trip I'd say there yes uh, he, he may have away. for it so he'd certainly get the eye of the umpire this little fellow that coal uh, that hair uh, yeah he's uh, a nippy little player too isn't he very quick on the ground they must have a special bleach for these rovers in the <laughs> chemist shops that they have every uh, ready every March is that right uh, I think it might be yes lemon based Melbourne getting it out of trouble now kicking around onto center wing and the ball out of bounds but a throw in just on the interchange mark there Brian Wood gave chase but couldn't catch up to the ball. 12-3, 75 Essendon to 8-4-32 Melbourne. 20 and a half minutes gone, I should say 8-4-52. My writing isn't what it used to be. Madden gets the ball out that time to Kevin Walsh. You're having Walsh go, looking Walsh. for merit. Yes, you're writing. Yeah, having yeah. a my writing. Or printing, Arthur. Oh, nice old heave-ho that time. The umpire missed it. And look at that for pressure. And where's the free going? It'll go to Melbourne. Fair enough, too. The Essendon fan's not happy. And Neither is Stephen Clark. No, Stephen Clark's not impressed at all, but I think it was there. Well, it breaks the play up anyway, and the Melbourne sent it down to the wing. Um, Frankie Donnell, but coming out there is uh, Richards. Over to Wilson. A long hand pass. Good play, Melbourne. They've got the loose man. Trouble. Uh, Brett Bailey gets around Thompson, handballs into the goal square and all day pops it through and that's good play Melbourne. They got the loose man running from down the wing and uh, unusual to see Essendon left standing like that and they pop the goal on. So Melbourne move on to nine goals for 58, trailing Essendon 12-3-75. At 20, uh, 21 and a half minutes gone here at Windy Hill and Melbourne still in scoring range of the Bombers. Well, Brett Bailey almost messed that up there. He just about took too long. Didn't know what to do. Saw his man in the goal square and got it through him. But uh, it was a hair's line between making a mistake and getting a goal that time. Well, those are risky, those. But they're the ones that, uh, when the risk comes off, they, they get a, the, the goal is usually uh, got pretty it, easily. Yeah. Yes, it is. And you've got to take risks against Essendon. Oh, well, that's right. Ooh. Plenty of players in the centre of the ground. The umpire calls for the ball. Let's see if he'll bounce or throw it in the air. I think he might bounce here. The centre of the ground looks pretty hard. It is. Down it goes. A good bounce too. Up goes Big Turner with Madden. Madden winning it. He's been dominating in the centre of the ground. Once again, a big pack of players diving in on top of the ball. 
The chance is there now for Essendon, kicked off the ground by Wood, but straight into Merritt's back. And once again, we have a pack developing, still around the centre of the ground. Now, here's the chance. Can we get it away? Shane Hurd. Wood. Bounces nicely for him, a ridiculous oh. hand pass. They really yeah. messed it up between them that time. Peter but still, Bradbury. it's picked up by Peter Bradbury. Swung across the face of goals, almost marked that time by Big Spencer. And Melbourne have the chance to get it away. So I think between Wood and Hurd, they managed to mess it up that time. Another goal was looming there for Essendon. There's too much handball in, Arthur. As the Bombers come, they were Simon Madden and the big fella. Little chip out of the... Uh, who, what's he done? And he's found a Terry Danaher. And as Arthur said, uh, he was floundering a little bit down at the back, but now he's back up to the forward line where he, he looks more comfortable. And uh, the Essendon captain uh, having a direct shot. He would be 40 metres out in front. And uh, he usually pops these ones through. So Terry Danaher, the All Australian captain last year, and uh, he's popped it through. So Essendon move on to a 13-3, uh, 81. Melbourne 9 4 58 24 minutes coming uh, up to time on here in the second quarter at Essendon and the, the Bombers uh, holding a lead of uh, what's that 23 points at Windy Hill well as I said a short time ago right if he's floundering on the back line Sheedy will swing him up forward and he'll probably finish up kicking four or five or six goals he's that sort of a player well, that's the versatility that Kevin Sheedy's built into this Essendon side, and uh, now the sides are all trying to follow. That's okay, a good one. what's uh, happening here? Shane Hurd. Good tackle. Uh, yes, and Shane Hurd sends it out to the uh, Alan Ezzard, but he overruns the ball, and Stephen Stretch comes across and uh, pushes it out of bounds. Stephen Stretch from West Torrens in his first season with the Demons come over with a bit of a reputation as, and has fitted nicely into this Melbourne side. Play on centre wing now, throw it in. Merritt takes it off the pack, caught, pushed in the back. Or did he hang on to it too long? He did. Well, I think it could have gone either way, but there it is. The chances for Melbourne and big uh, David Alday. Kicks it out wide, the umpires waving play on melbourne into attack once again let's see if they can get another goal and get a little bit closer there's the opportunity but a good tackle by essendon they're in so quickly kicked off the ground for mel if it bounces it'll be right no it isn't but now's the chance there and a good goal to nigel cole very quick thinking the ball almost bouncing through that time so at the 25 minute mark melbourne's 10th goal on the board but essendon holding a handy lead 13 3 81 to 10 4 64. Well, they're sitting a little bit loose, unusually, unusual for them on the back line there. And uh, Nigel Cole uh, got around his opponent and popped it through and uh, keeps this game uh, alive for 17 points difference. And Melbourne uh, not to be outdone. And they've given themselves a, a good showing here so far, Arthur. And 23 goals scored, it's a very high-scoring game. Yeah, and they're kicking accurately too, 10-4 to 13-3. That's pretty good kicking from both sides. The bounce, up goes Madden, and in ruck this time was 37 David Alday, who got the better of Simon Madden, and that hasn't happened too often. Here's the chance for Healy, a good nippy little player, onto his left boot. Up forward, chance up there for ruckman Stephen Turner, who's having a bit of a rest, if you can call being on an Essendon uh, defensive player a rest. Well, Brian Whitten gets the free kick, and oh, getting Hello. a bit courageous, a cross goal to Peter Bradbury. And Peter Bradbury's taken the mark in front of Brett Bailey. And the export Melbourne player sends it up to uh, Brian Wood. Uh, he can't uh, get the ball uh, with Nigel Cole. Oh, Jeff Raines. And Jeff Raines said, I didn't put that umpire. Well, you make your judgment on that. I don't think that was out, was no, it, Arthur? I don't think it was. Raines was out, certainly, but he kept the ball in play. Well, the umpire's got to get something to do. Well, there, all day. Madden, Withers. Madden Ooh, picks Withers it up. one high, too. The umpire missed it. Peter Bradbury. Can you trap it? No. Patterson and Clark jump on top. And Brett Braley says, good play there uh, to his teammate. <laughs> and pats him on the back. Well, umpire Westgarth um, bouncing the ball. Now he's going to throw it up. Coming uh, into 27 minutes, and Simon Madden couldn't get it. Good play, uh, Michael Thompson. He's got Stephen Clark, and the, the speedster shoots it up to full forward. Who's he got there? But not a good pass. Wasn't directed to anybody in particular, and it goes over the, bound, over the line and out of bounds. Good play by uh, the Melbourne defence there. He just got his tackle in at the right time on Clark, and that put him off balance. And that's the reason the ball wasn't up in the goal square and is now out of bounds. I can't help thinking that had Robbie Flower 
Don had to leave the, uh, the ground, he would have made a heck of a difference to this Melbourne side. Wood really come into the game in the second quarter. Isn't an into attack again. Reigns with the hand pass. Swinging around is Michael Thompson driving it up forward. Up goes, I'm not going to call him this time because I'll get him wrong, Terry Danaher. They all look alike up there. They're all tall. They all lead out well, and they all take good marks. They're all good-looking fellas, too, <laughs> these Essendon players, aren't they, Arthur? Yes. I know it's, it's killing you to call these to the <laughs> Essendon side. Terry Danaher going for his third goal so far in this quarter. There it is on its way. Looks pretty good, the umpire says. All clear. 28 minutes into the second quarter, so we're approaching half-time and good kicking from Essendon. It's 14-3-87 to 10-6-64. Very accurate kicking by both. Well, certainly uh, 24 goals scored, Arthur, and uh, a high-scoring game and quite an entertaining game. And uh, Melbourne is giving as good as they can get. Uh, but Essendon's just got that little bit of a height down forward which is making the difference, uh, giving him more avenues to goal than Melbourne's got. I can't help thinking that Essendon are about to slip into a higher gear and go away from Melbourne. They've certainly had the opportunities up forward and I think if they start to click, it could be an avalanche of goals. Well, it's back uh, in the just over the centre line and uh, umpire Westgarth uh, will uh, start the uh, game rolling again with a bounce. Simon Madden. Oh, but beaten there by Turner as it comes down there. And um, uh, Brian Wilson has taken Been a mark. quiet today. Yes, so uh, Jeffrey Raines has had the uh, the upper hand there as he shoots a little pass down there looking for the chain. Heard Healy couldn't be there and Heard uh, backs up nicely. A little hand pass uh, and the bombers clear it through Brian Winton up to the centre wing. And uh, oh, Stephen Clark, good mark in front of uh, Chris Conley. And a little speedster. Who's he looking for? Oh, Roger Merritt has marked again. Well, he, he just amazes me, this fellow, how he just, every time he goes near the ball, he does something constructive. Who's he got? Spencer, Ezard, but the Demons, uh, Batterson stops it, but Terry Danaher over to Clark. Clark has a chip shot. Oh, good play, Melbourne. They stop it. Paul Salmon, bend down, Paul. <laughs> but he couldn't, and uh, It's all a long players, way down, isn't it, for, for all, Salmon? Well, it's a fair height. Yeah. It's like the Rialto, right? being in a lift. Just about half time, 30 minutes gone in the second quarter. 14 3 87 to 10 4 64. The umpire's whistle sounded again. We'll have another throw in just around from the Essendon goal. A chance for them to go further ahead with half time coming up, and that'll be a pretty good break for them at half time, too. Go again. Oh, so, oh, the here, here's the chance. Yes, here's here's the free kick. No? Free kick. Uh, Stephen yes, Clark. Have to be in the back. It was all over him then. Just about buried him. That was 29. Dale Dixon. So Stephen Clark. He's had a fair, fairly good quarter, Arthur. He has indeed. We might have to get our hair done that colour. We might just uh, be seen more around the around the town. Hasn't kicked the goal yet, has he, Clark? Uh, not at this stage. Here he comes chance to get the 15th goal on the board for Essendon. Looks pretty good. No, no a point. Line. 31 minutes gone. So it's 14-4, 88 to 10-4, 64. A 24-point lead to Essendon with half-time coming up at any second. Well, Michael Reynolds down at full back. Uh, was named at full forward. Started off there too. Yes, yes, uh, but uh, I think he's down there for a bit of height assistance to his defenders to uh, counteract this Essendon at attack with all these big fellas. A four goal lead to Essendon. Time on, uh, well into time on, to over the 30 minute mark. 31 and a half minutes gone and uh, the game nearly uh, at the half time stage as the ball comes out. And, oh, good mark, Stephen Stretch. Got a little bit of a uh, tap on the face here. Wasn't intentional. Wouldn't have been uh, good on a cold day, but uh, <laughs> today it's not being so cold. It wouldn't hurt as uh, Stephen Stretch. Sending Melbourne down to the half-forward line. Who's there? The ball hits the ground. Ezard kicks it away. Oh. Taken there by uh, Mark Thompson. And the Bombers running again. Terry Danaher. He's, he's controlled it. On the left foot. 
Snap. Yes, it is. And on the goal. goal. He's kicked it on the line, on the, on the score. Brought it round beautifully, the win that time. So another goal to Terry Danner. Three goals in this quarter after we'd uh, just about written him off in defence in the first quarter. Sheedy has swung him onto the forward line and he's banged it through. So at half time, 15 for 94 Essendon to Melbourne 10 6 you want to be a real footballer? I mean a real footballer. You've got to look like a real footballer. You've got to go for the mark. The VFL mark. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go, go for the VFL mark at leading stores. Real footy gear, real footy accessories. Real footy supporters gear too in all club colours and badges. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the VFL mark at leading stores. And Pro Football welcome you back to Windy Hill for the start of the second half of the match between Essendon and Melbourne. And at halftime, Essendon holding a very handy 30-point lead over Melbourne. A couple of quick goals late in the quarter, 15-4-94 to Melbourne 10-4-64. Perfect day for football, Ray, and uh, I've still got the impression that Essendon are about to step into a higher gear and run away from Melbourne. Well, let's uh, hope for Melbourne's sake that's not to be, because at this stage, Melbourne have so far. And no, Greg Healy. Uh, Ger Greg Healy, yes. Uh, he's popped goal. it through. Well, there you go. We just start telling uh, yes. that uh, Essendon the top gear and Melbourne pinch a goal back. So that's certainly keeping the game alive here. And uh, um, Melbourne now move on to 11 4 70. Uh, Essendon 15 4 94. And uh, that uh, will suggest that they're now um, 24 points behind. And maybe we're not giving Melbourne the credit they deserve, Arthur. Well, Wilson got it beautifully out of the centre there from the uh, tap. Straight on to Healy, and Healy's pretty fast out there, and uh, that's his second goal. So 11 for 70, 15 for 94. Here's the bounce once again. Go the big ones, a bit of strike, and Wilson, who copped one a bit high there as he went in for the ball with Madden. Good mark taken there by Essendon. Lynn Hawker back on the ground. He was uh, off halfway through that uh, second quarter, Arthur. And, uh, a bit of strapping on that on. left knee. Yes, Gary Folds. On the left foot, and Gary sends it down to the centre half forward line. Goes over the top of uh, Terry Denner. Terry Denner, her back in the back line. And, uh, as uh, no, sorry, he's back at the forward line now. As uh, Thompson sends it down to the half forward line. Uh, a bit of a push there to uh, Alan Ezard by the uh, Melbourne uh, player. I think that would be uh, the back pocket player, Daryl Burke. So the little fella, Alan Ezard, in the forward pocket. Kick one goal so far in the first quarter lining up for his second. Well, the speedster from Coburg. Looks that pretty good. It's coming back nicely. Yes. Straight through. Loves a goal. Two minutes. And we've seen two goals. One to Melbourne after about 30 seconds. And the answer very quickly from Essendon. So 16 for 100. Back to a 30-point lead. 11 for 70. Essard getting the free kick, kicking his second goal of the match. So far, Paul Salmon has kicked four. Terry Danaher, three after a very quiet first half in defence. He was switched to the forward line. He's kicked three goals. Stephen Clark has one. Essard now has two. Spencer, a very exciting player from Queensland, has kicked three goals so far. Roger Merrin has two, and Michael Thompson, one. They're the goals for Essendon. As uh, Thompson comes out of the centre, Brian Wood off the ground. But the Melbourne side go back up uh, by Turner, flicked over by Bailey. Coming through is Brian, uh, Kevin Walsh. And uh, Kevin Walsh. sends a left footer right down the centre of the ground as uh, Simon Madden says thank you very much to his Melbourne uh, opponent. Down to Roger Merritt. He's had the ball on the string so far as the, his uh, big opponent, uh, Darren Lutet, couldn't uh, stop him from getting it down to the forward line. But coming through is uh, Danny Hughes. And Hughes, the Melbourne fullback, kicks a long kick. But uh, Stephen Clark should have been may have paid that, but the umpire says no as uh, Michael Thompson falls over, doesn't get it cleanly, and Melbourne uh, get it away. Ooh. And oh, as Darryl, Darryl Burke try to get it away, players all on top. A very scrappy play here, and uh, Peter Cameron says let's clear it away. Darryl Burke comp on a little bit high there, and I think from his own uh, teammate as he went through. Well, Arthur, uh, Melbourne have got the odds against them. Uh, Essendon are going for their 16th consecutive win against uh, the, the Demons. Actually, Melbourne haven't beaten Essendon for eight years. So they certainly have got a, a record against them at this stage. Not many people have beaten them in 16 years, especially in the last few. Three and a half minutes into the third quarter. There's Madden. The tireless work in the ruck today from Big Madden. Kicking it well up forward. Brian, Brian Wood, good player. 
that's come into it since uh, a very quiet first half and starting to make his presence felt. Not a well-directed kick, though, and it's out of bounds once again over on the outer wing. Lots of red and black over there. Even in the outer, Arthur. Yeah. The red and black horde, they call them. Madden again. And again. Gary Folds. Terry Denneher, nice pickup. Shoots it across the half forward line. And Merit. Roger Merritt. Well, he's certainly a little hand pass. Over to Michael Thompson. What's he going to do? He's going to have a shot. He didn't know whether to handball it over to Trevor Spencer. And he's offline. And only one behind. So Essendon move on to 16 5, 101. Melbourne uh, 11 4 70. 31 point uh, difference here at Windy Hill. Third quarter. Pro football game. Four and a half minute mark. Will be a free to Melbourne. Taken that time by 18. Stephen Stretch, who really stretched to get to that ball but couldn't. There's the kick. Good long kick to the outer wing. Who marked it? The mark has been paid or has it? Oh, What's Jeffrey the Rains on the bottom do? there. And, uh, Wilson in there. Yeah, and Jeff Rains, yes. They're having a. And a, Healy. I think Jeff. Uh, Brian Wilson might be a bit frustrated because Jeff has had the upper hand, uh, as you've said through the call, uh, Arthur. And, yes, he's uh, paid it. And he's going to come the favourite of the Essendon crowd already. So the uh, highly priced recruit from Richmond and Collingwood certainly hasn't accepted any 20% cut here. As uh, the little fella Clark uh, is having a free kick. Clark and Lutet having a bit of a clash that time. And the freeze going further back down the ground to number 29, Dale Dixon. Dixon, a good pass up to Richards. Richards streaming through the centre of the ground. It's a good long kick of the ball up there. Walsh going in for it. Good defence now from Essendon. Chance there for Healy. Kicked away by Shane Hurd. Kicked further afield for Essendon. Right up to the centre wing. And the ball over the line and out of bounds once again. So good defence from Essendon there. The chance was there for, for Melbourne to go into attack. They need goals. Six and a half minutes into the third quarter. 11-4. Melbourne 70 to Essendon 16-5-101. Well, Turner and Madden. No one can get it. Uh, Mark Withers tries to trap it. Williams. It's kicked off the ground by Stephen Newport and will go over the line and out of bounds again. Daisy well, Williams has been a bit quiet since the first quarter. Yes, coming back after an injury, Arthur, and uh, hasn't really... Uh, had much involvement in the game so far as uh, Madden and the Lion have a little bit of push and shove uh, Brian Wilson uh, gets into the back and you when we start uh, giving a player a bit of a serve he comes and gets a kick uh, they always do it no <laughs> it's he's it not the other kicking, way yes so he's giving it to uh, that looks Healy. like Healy mm. so Healy about to get Melbourne into attack Greg Healy already kicked two goals for the Demons there's his kick up high there was Walsh couldn't take the mark the opportunity there is for Michael Thompson umpire waves play on as Melbourne come back into it but once again swooping in is Shane Hurd been a good player and a very busy player for Essendon today goes for the outer wing umpire's whistle is gone Mark Thompson kicks it down there but uh, 41 Stephen, Stephen Turner, Turner. Yeah. he's not playing a bad game he's uh, out uh, he's Against Simon Madden in the ruck, he's, uh, he's not as tall as him, but he's competing, and that's uh, what Melbourne have got to do here. Keep the pressure on Essendon as the ball comes down there and a nice mark there by uh, Young Withers. And Mark Withers, the uh, little fella for the Demons, uh, maybe a bit too far out for him, uh, but he's going to have a shot. Desperate for a goal, Melbourne. Trailing by 31 points in this third quarter. There's the kick. Good long kick right up into the teeth of goals, but up over the top, taking the mark was Simon Madden, but the umpire has said... Might be a goal, I think. Uh, He's oh, awarded no, the no, free, I think. No, it's no. a mark. It's a mark uh, to Simon, uh, Simon Madden. Bit confusing there. It looked like he was going to give the free to Melbourne, but in the end it was uh, a mark paid to Madden. Eight and a half minutes into the third quarter. 101 plays 70, Essendon in front. A scrappy passage of play we've seen so far. It's both teams playing it on that outer flank. Once again, Madden. And again, the players dive in on top of it, and the umpire says, it's mine. Well, it's an ideal day for football, Arthur. There's no wind out here, and uh, a little bit of moisture we've had this week has made the ground in very good condition, but the players seem to have got into a bit of a situation in this uh, third quarter. Williams uh, very, again. Very, very scrappy. Wood. 
Wood has the opportunity to drive Essendon forward. Good long kick. Up there was Merritt looking for the mark. He couldn't mark it. Rain's in there again. The ball kicked around the flank. I've come Melbourne into attack. Good mark. Well, they need goals now. Mark taken out there by Brett Bailey, and he'll drive Melbourne right up. He should put this one right up in the goal square. 11 4 70, 16 5, 101. Just nine and a half minutes into the third quarter is the kick from Bailey. It's a good kick, too, straight through the middle. Bailey posts another goal for the Demons, and it's 12 4 76 to 16 5, 101. Good kick. Well, Melbourne uh, still hanging in there, 25 points in arrears. And uh, as Arthur has said, uh, they look like Essendon when they're ready to, to step into top gear and run away with this game. But Melbourne are not letting them. And uh, Essendon certainly haven't got control of this game as yet. Just wondering why Kevin Sheedy has instructed the players to play down that outer flank. It's when Essendon comes straight through the centre of the ground here, they look at their, their most dangerous. And when you look at their goal-to-goal -goal line... It's no wonder, but they haven't done that so far in this quarter, have they? No, they haven't. Certainly haven't, Arthur. As uh, Melbourne will get the free kick, uh, Brian Wilson. Yeah, a little bit of a discussion with Jeff Rain just before as the ball comes down there. Bradbury couldn't trap it. Melbourne uh, is, would be a free to Healy. No, he won't pay it. Um, players trying to get it out. Gary Foles, very scrappy. Brian Wood. Sends it down to the centre of the ground. Paul Salmon in the ruck now. Wilson again, and Jeffrey Rains falls on top of him. Brian Wood again. Handballs it over to Hawker, and Hawker gets clear, and he sends it over to that uh, side of the ground. And he, here's Jeff Rains on his own again, and well shepherded done. well by Williams. Nice hand pass. Hawker over the top. But, oh, bad hand pass, Glenn Hawker. Too much of it. As it comes back to the half forward line, Thompson traps it. Who's he got? It's Paul Salmon, and big, the big fella sends it down to the half forward line. Um, Roger Merritt, no, it's Frank Donnell. Frank uh, tries to pick it up. Uh, Shane well Hurd, I think you'll find it's against you, Shane Hurd. And Richards. a good tackle there by Richards. Well, they're messing about a bit, Essendon, aren't they? Well, they look like they're uh, a bit disinterested at the moment, yeah. uh, Arthur. Simon Sorry. Eichold on the ground there for Melbourne, I notice. Conspicuous by the fact that he looks very clean at the moment and hasn't had too many possessions so far. But let's see what he can do. Here's the opportunity now. Umpire says, I'll take a bounce. Yes, I can't help thinking that if Essendon were more direct and went down the ground and used their long kicking game, that they'd be uh, well, well clear of Melbourne. Ball thrown in the air. Up they go for it. Big Turner. Kick clear for Melbourne by Reynolds. Almost marked there. Ooh, nearly a free to Conley. Chris Conley, yeah. yeah just Paul about Sam got the got kick in the back. Up they go. Here's the opportunity for Melbourne now, but good tackle. Ball's loose. Still dangerous. Roger Merritt's oh. in there. Oh. <laughs> Threw a, a little bit of a high one, and uh, who is that for Melbourne down on the ground? Was that uh, Healy? Oh, he's holding his face. No. I think he might have accidentally got a bit of a... I can't see he's... Uh... Stephen Newport, I think, copped that one. Madden. Once again, the player's pushing and shoving. Yes, sir. Says, I thought he'd do that, Arthur. He'll yeah. give one there to clear it away. It's Healy. Yeah. Been a busy little player for Melbourne today. Gets a 15-metre free. A chance for the Demons now to get it out of the danger area. But he goes straight across the ground. Finds uh, his teammate there in Darren Lutit. But didn't gain any territory whatsoever. Here's Lutit now. Goes for a pass out wide on the wing. <laughs> Ishold never looked like getting near that ball. Hawker paddles it along. The chance is there for Foles. Danaher. And now Essendon into attack through Hawker. Driving it up to the forward line, looking up there for someone. Here's the opportunity for Trevor Spencer. Oh. Free to Ezard. No. The umpire didn't catch it, Arthur. And the fans are letting him know too. Well, I think he was, to be fair to the umpire, maybe on the blind side, but uh, all the Essen supporters are just saying he's blind. But uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it uh, wasn't seen, and uh, one-eyed Hill here uh, letting him know. Thrown in. It's uh, Merritt. At the back was uh, Stephen Turner. No one can trap the balls. Uh, Nigel Cole, Michael Thompson, comes out to the player who's just come on the ground. It's Eichold. Yeah. Eichold. Sends it up to uh, the Melbourne 
Oh, forward line. Um, I think they might find no free to Bradbury as Jeffrey Rains. He may have played the advantage rule there. And Rains, he sends it out there to Frank Donnell. But still in there is Bailey for Melbourne. And Melbourne hanging in there is Withers. He can't pick it up. Uh, Richard's trying to help him. Essendon players all over the place. But oh, out to this young fella, Ishell. And he sends it up to the forward line. Paul Salmon uh, chasing the ball and seems to be an Essendon back uh, down the ground. The uh, umpire's blown the whistle. Yeah. Something might have happened just behind the play that time. Well, he hasn't paid any free kick at all no. for it, so uh, that'll be thrown in. You know, it's Simon Madden and all day. All day over the back. It's at the ground. Brian Wood clears it back there, uh, but it's marked by Nigel Cole just over the centre line. And Nigel will have an attempt shot at goal. He kicked a long sh kick before in a similar position. And let's just see what he can do here. Well, a big ground Essendon, so you can certainly get it down there, right up the forward line. All the Essendon tall timber there behind. Ooh. I think he would have been a bit game to pay yes. a free kick uh, right there. Right there on the corner of the goal square, yes. Yeah, Cole kicked a couple of good uh, goals in the second quarter. He's kicked two so far. Right at the 15-minute mark, a very scrappy period of play here in the third quarter with Essendon. 16-5-101 to 12-4-76. Once again, uh, Gary Folds on the left foot, sending it out. Terry Denneher, yeah, Melbourne, Nigel Cole, back to the forward line. Oh, oh Michael Thompson, who dropped that, son. Gets a handball over, and Brian Wooden Essendon now trying to break the game up by coming down this other wing. Well, Frank Donnell, good play there, Richards hits it over, but uh, oh, good, oh, oh Melbourne, oh, yes, dear. well done. Oh. Well, we've seen some puzzling. Decision. Decisions in the last few minutes, to say the least, right? Well, I think you're being soft uh, on the umpires there, uh, Arthur. But, uh, well, the Essendon fans have given them plenty of curry, so I'll go soft on them. <laughs> Here we go, Essendon into attack once again on this outer wing. Once again, Melbourne persevering. They're putting plenty of pressure on Essendon. Umpire will come in and will throw this ball up in the air once again. Yep. So it's score at the moment, Essendon 16-5-101 to Melbourne 12-4-76. Haven't seen too many goals in this third quarter so far. We're at the 16 and a half minute mark. There it is, up in the air. Salmon in the ruck that time against Turner. Oh, a good bump oh, from, uh, oh, from Reigns. Oh. Have a look at that. I think he's... Ran into uh, Brian Wilson. And Brian shoulder. Wilson's got his hand in the air. Left and shoulder. He's hurt there, Arthur. It was Certainly fair. Is. We'll have a look at a replay of that. Mm, have a look at our pro football replay because I don't think we'll see too much of um, Wilson after that. It was a fair bump. Oh yes, Arthur. he was going it was through a strong football. bump, mm. and he's in the hands of the trainers now. And uh, I think uh, he could be he's in, in a bit of trouble he with that left shoulder. He certainly is. Meanwhile, Essendon into attack. Ezard with a snapshot. He's offline and through for a point. 16-6, 102 to Essendon. Haven't seen too many shots at goal so far in this quarter. And Melbourne 12 4 76. Well, uh, when the sides play Essendon, they seem to try and do this, Arthur. They seem to try to hold an Essendon's running game. And they try to pull them back uh, to the field, as they say. And Essendon uh, don't like this type of play. They like the free, free flowing run on game. So Melbourne uh, are doing well to contain them here in the third quarter. As. Uh, Reynolds sends oh. it back out and a lovely mark from the skipper Terry Denner. Who's he got over to Glenn Hawker? And Glenn Hawker takes the mark in front of Chris Conley. Shoots it down to the forward line. Oh, no, it's could be a free to Spencer. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, umpire Westgarth said uh, interference from Danny Hughes. And the big young fella has got the free kick directly in front. 18 minutes gone here at, at Windy Hill. The Bombers won 102, Melbourne 76. Well, the umpire knows has pulled him around onto quite an angle now. It looked like he was going to give him the kick in front, but he's pulled him around. He's on about a 45, 50 degree angle. He's already kicked three goals. It's young Spencer, here he is. Ball's on its way. No, the umpire moving across and through for one point. So Essendon, 16-7, 103 to Melbourne's 12-4-76. We've been playing 18 and a half minutes of the third quarter. Melbourne doing a pretty good job as far as stopping the run-on uh, play of Essendon, but they're uh, trailing. Good hand pass that time, pushed away by Merritt to Reigns, back to Merritt. Merritt has a little bit of a kick over the air, over his shoulder in the air. Danaher couldn't take it. Melbourne have the chance to get it away that time through Chris Connolly. 
further afield now but the mark straight onto the chest of Gary Folds well Gary Folds 12 years at Essen long kick he's been a great player for the Bombers Mike Thompson couldn't pick it up comes out there the young withers Clark all the players on top of the ball and as it has been in this third quarter oh. a little bit strappy a little bit of a altercation behind the play there who's in there is that Merritt I think uh, no it's Thompson? Uh, Michael Thompson now Rogers he's at the back Roger he's, oh, yeah, uh, he's arbitrating over yeah, here he's yes. just having a talk to him <laughs> he's just telling him there's a friendly get together in the rooms afterwards and just trying to find out how many are going to come in for a drink I think taking <laughs> the numbers down in the exercise book now looks like uh, Flinders Street at 7.30 when there's no trains uh, and his hawk has got that left shin well strapped Yes, he has. He, well, as you say, he was limping in the yes. second quarter and came off, and uh, well, he's back on. All right, the umpire sorted out that little tater tate and is about to throw the ball in the air and get the game underway once again. Essendon 16 7 103 to Melbourne 12 4 76. Whoops. Michael Thompson. Mark Withers couldn't trap it. Melbourne come down here. The handball's over for Withers. He can't control it. Batterson, oh, should have been a free willing. kick there, yes. It's a little bit willing now. I think the umpires better just take a little bit more firmer control here and they're once Nell again on again. Batterson in front of us. Well, the Essendon crowd like this is probably giving you a bit of entertainment, Arthur, because the football in this quarter has uh, not been of a high standard. Not when you expect a team like Essendon to... Uh, to run away from Melbourne with the lead they had at uh, court at half time they had a 30 point lead and it looked like they'd really go on with it but Melbourne have uh, been in there applying pressure and stopping them running mm. and it's developing into a little niggling affair now let's see what will happen up it goes 21 minutes gone salmon in the ruck well done by Turner who thumped it a field but Brian Wood is there gets the hand pass in field that time to, uh, to Elshaw Elshaw again another hand pass from Elshaw over this time to Mark Thompson. Thompson looking further afield to centre half forward. They all miss it. Here's the chance for Madden. Pops it onto the left boot. Shoots towards the goal, but it's going to be offline. And it just Ooh. trickles over the line with Roger Merritt following it across the line for a throw in around about 15 metres around from the Essendon goal. 21 and a half minutes into the third quarter. Well, all the Essendon fans had their hearts in their mouth then as Roger slid into the fence. Probably the most valuable material they got out of here at Windy Hill. And probably one of the best big men has played the game in the last 20 years as the ball comes out. Like him, do you? I think he's a good player, Arthur, and I'm a little bit biased towards that fellow. I think he's a great footballer. Dale Dixon driving Melbourne up into attack now. And there's Eichold after the ball, came onto the ground. And one of the Melbourne players got hurt a little bit earlier. And I don't think we're going to see too much of Brian Wilson, who hurt his shoulder. We've got Robert Flower off the ground. So Melbourne have been a little bit unlucky as far as injury is concerned to lose their captain. There's Walsh. Been a cool, good player. But as I mentioned it, he kicks the ball straight into the arms of Nigel Cole. Well, Nigel Cole sending Melbourne up. And uh, Chris Conley, but that's got to come back to uh, Nigel Cole. as a 15-metre penalty paid as Cole... Gets the ball right down to the forward line. Bounces over the top. Paul Salmon in the defence. Little pass to Frank Donnell. And Frank just couldn't uh, get all these hands to it. And it goes over the line and out of bounce. Uh, Essendon 103. Melbourne 76. This game brought to you by Pro Football. Third quarter, Windy Hill. 23 minutes gone. Frank Donnell flicks it over to Michael Thompson. He gets his kick under pressure. Uh, Terry Denneher, Steve is stretched backing up, handballs over to his teammate in at Stephen Turner, and Turner gets it over to Darren Lutet, and uh, Melbourne not really progressing very far, but they got control of the ball, and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to stop Essen getting away from him here in the third quarter. Sends it up to full forward, the big timber, Walsh and Salmon, ball uh, oh, could have been nearly a free kick to Melbourne there, but the umpire Peter Cameron's wisely decided to bounce the ball. So, uh, Peter Cameron, and as Arthur has said, through this quarter, it's been a very scrappy quarter, and not many score goals have been scored when you consider that up to half time, 28 goals were scored. Uh, sorry, 20, uh, 29 goals were scored up to half time, so they've only really scored three goals since then. Yeah, it hasn't been a good quarter. However, Essendon well in control at the moment, leading 16 7 103 to 12 4 76. And the ruck once again is Madden. Pushes the ball further afield, but two Melbourne players in there very quickly, including Adrian Batterson. Glenn Hawker's in there on top of it. 
And once again, the umpire will ball it up for the umpteenth time in this quarter. 24 minutes gone, just about to enter time on. There it is in the air. Roger Merritt bangs it across, but nicely picked up that time by Nigel Cole. Swings it across to the center of the ground. The opportunity is here for um, Hawker. On to Jeffrey Reigns. Jeffrey Reigns just flicks it out. A good pass from Reigns. He'll take it back again. Now watch the long kick here, right up into the goal square. This one from Reigns. Bounces through. No, not quite through. Picked up that time by Michael Reynolds, who's dropped back to fullback after starting in the forward line for Melbourne. Melbourne out of trouble once again. Out on the full. The free kick will go to Brian Wood. We've been playing just on 25 minutes into the third quarter, the scrappiest quarter we've seen for quite a while from the Essendon side. Brian Wood plays on, drives Essendon up to half forward. Up they go, and a good mark taken there in defence by Darren Lutet. Melbourne defence has been hanging in this quarter, keeping Essendon down. They've only kicked one goal in this quarter. Melbourne have added two. Here's Wood. Dropped to his knees there, thought he was hurt for a moment. And the free kick will go to Wood. Oh, Brian Wood coming out of the fence for the Bombers. Down to the half forward line. Yes, Terry Denner couldn't get it. Stephen Stretch. Terry Denner has got it. He plays it away from him. What's free. the umpire going to do? Uh, he's going to give it against uh, Dale Dixon. I suppose it could have went either way, but uh, Terry Denner who did, played that very well. Yeah, I'd have played it to him. So the Essendon captain started in the fence, but now down the forward line. Little pass. And no. Oh. Simon Madden couldn't hold that. Michael Thompson, but picking up nicely is Daryl Burke. And Daryl Burke uh, clears it out of uh, the... Free kick uh, down the ground. Yes, 15. Uh, played down the ground to Melbourne. And it would be Greg Healy. So, uh, Essendon trying to contain Melbourne. And getting the forward line and Paul Salmon. Over to Ellen Ezard and the speedster. Handballs it nicely over to Mark Thompson. Has one bounce. Down the social si social club wing, Tony Elshaw. You're gonna get, you're gonna muck it up, Essendon. Uh, silly play. They had control of the ball, and too oh. much handball. Should have been a free to Melbourne because Frank Denell got into the back of uh, his Melbourne opponent. Anyway, they're paying it now. I tell you what, if we sit very quietly at three-quarter time, I reckon we'll hear everything Kevin Sheedy says to Essendon because they really are messing about. Certainly are. Just when they look to be going well and moving the ball forward, they stop and mess it up 26 and a half minutes gone in the third quarter won't be a long quarter we've only seen what two three goals kicked so far one by Essendon two by Melbourne so I'd say only about a minute or so to go the chance is there now for Hawker to clear it for Essendon but he kicks it straight into the arms of the Melbourne player and that'll be little Adrian Batterson to put Melbourne into attack he's trying to crib a bit of footage and get closer in field there's his kick a short pass and it goes straight into the arms of Eichold well, young uh, Simon uh, Eichel, he's uh, come on, replaced uh, Joe Rigolo in the selected side. He couldn't uh, take his place. And uh, one of the scrappiest quarters seen from Essendon for quite a long time. Eichel with the kick. He should kick it from there, but he's not going to. The ball swinging wide. Okay. Kick off the ground. That's Healy. Great goal. Great goal from Healy. But the kick from Eichel dropped short. It was fumbled by an Essendon player. And there was Healy, as quick as a flash, and bang straight through. So it's 16 7 103 Essendon. Melbourne getting back into the game 13 4 82. Melbourne have added three goals in this quarter to Essendon's one. Just about at three quarter time, and playing 28 and a half minutes. As I say, only three, four goals kicked in the quarter, so it won't be a long one. Well, Although it's been a scrappy one. It certainly has, Arthur. 21 point uh, lead to the Bombers. There's Roger Merritt. Probably will decide to do it on his own. But uh, Chris Conley uh, takes it away from him and sends it up to the half forward line. And Melbourne uh, uh, giving as much as uh, Essendon at the moment as uh, Glenn Hawker can't get it away. Conley. Uh, well, you can't really tell here at Essendon because uh, uh, every time an Essendon player gets near a ball, they want a free. As uh, Peter Bradbury sends it down to uh, Terry Denneher. He couldn't control it. Brian Wood flicks it on. But uh, coming across it to take it away is Daryl Burke. He couldn't. Very scrappy by both sides as Darren Lutet kicks it in the air. Punched away by, no, it wasn't, Thompson, and uh, 34, that's uh, Stephen yeah. Newport. So Stephen Newport, the ruck rover for the Demons, handballs it over, and uh, Melbourne uh, send it forward. 
Tip to the forward line. Ooh, Ooh, up high almost a mark for Melbourne there. From the all day. Here's the chance now. Over to Stephen Turner. He's way offline. And the ball will be out of bounds on the full or no? Did it bounce? Yes, it is. Out of bounds on the full. And the free kick will go to Essendon to be taken by Gary Folds. Well, 29 and a half minutes going in the third quarter as Gary Folds sends it down to the half-back line. Paul Salmon coming out the back to Terry Danaher. Spins around the left foot. Nice little hand pass. That's better. Comes over to, that's right, to Frank Donnell. Frank up to Simon Madden. Couldn't hold it. No, no, Trevor Spencer. There's Melbourne try to clear it. Um, Daryl Burke. The Bombers. Fumble again. Um, Mark Thompson. And over again. to Michael Thompson. Uh, certainly fumbling with the Bombers in this third quarter. It's a, uh, good, good mark. mark. Stephen Stretch. And there it is, the three-quarter time siren ends a very, very scrappy quarter at the 30-minute mark with Essendon 16-7-103. So all they did in that quarter was add one goal, three, and Melbourne 13-4-82. In that quarter, they kicked three straight. Well, welcome back to Pro Football, the fourth quarter and the last quarter at Windy Hill between Essendon and Melbourne. And the Bombers 103, leading the Demons 82. As uh, umpire Peter Cameron... Madden, Shane Hurd kicks it off the ground. The Bombers go down forward. Flicked over the top to Tony Elshaw. He's got the hand pass over to Alan Ezard. Ezard straightens up. That's better, Essendon. And that's a quick goal for the Bombers. They seem to bog themselves down in the third quarter, but uh, that's the way they normally play. And a very quick goal, 25 seconds it took them to get down Alan Ezard. And he pops his third goal on the board. Essendon's 17th and the Bombers 17-7, 109, leading Melbourne 13-4, 82 at the, well, one and a half minute mark. Well, that's the first time we've seen Essendon do what we mentioned they should have been doing in the third quarter. They came straight down the ground out of the centre after Madden got the tap away and it resulted in a goal. That's something they didn't do right the way through that third quarter and that's why they only added one goal, three in the third quarter. So, are we about to see them step up a gear and run away from Melbourne? Melbourne, hit by injuries to two of their most experienced and best players in Robbie Flower, who's off the ground with concussion, we've heard, and also, as we saw in that quarter, Wilson with a, a bruised shoulder. Well, Jeffrey Rains come out the centre and playing a good game. Foles to Thompson, and Thompson sends the Bombers down. Paul Salmon and the Richards. Trapping it is Nigel Cole, who's played a very good game today, but uh, that time he put it over the line and out of bounds. Right in front of the Essendon Social Stand, the goal kickers, the main goal kickers to this stage, Paul Salmon's kicked four, Terry Denneher three, Alan Izzard three, Trevor Spencer three, and Roger Merritt two. For Here's the, the Demons. Now. Sorry there, Arthur. Big chance for Essendon there. Wood. Woods fast, look at this, the hand pass away, but the umpire has blown the whistle and play will go back into the forward pocket there. Well, young Stephen, Still the chance is there for Essendon. Yes, was young Stephen Clark flashed in the play then, uh, Arthur. He's and, quick, uh, isn't he? Oh, he's very quick. Well, Healy in defence. Been a good player for Melbourne too, Greg well, Healy. Well, he's kicked four goals with Lyon two and Cole two, the other main goal kickers. As Melbourne send it down. Oh, well has played, to be Wood. a free kick. No, play on, Jeffrey Reigns. Good hand pass. And the running Gary Folds. This is how they do it, Essendon. Sends it down a centre half forward. A great mark by Terry Denneher. They're starting to run now, Essendon, and this is the way they've got to do it. They've got to run a, get a break clear from Melbourne because Melbourne did tie them down with scragging tactics and in the third quarter. And this is the way Essendon certainly upsettles, unsettles sides with this free flowing uh, type of play. But not a good kick from the captain. And it goes into the forward pocket and out of bounds. It'll be thrown in. It was just touched there by big Roger Merritt. So, so far, Terry Danner has three goals for Essendon, three minutes into the final term. Up they go, Danny Hughes there. Oh, here's the chance for Essendon. Slammed in by uh, Williams. The umpire says a goal. So Darren Williams kicks his uh, first goal of the match and the 18th on the board for Essendon. Just over three minutes into the final term and already Essendon have put on two goals. So it's 18-7-115 to 13-4-82. And all of a sudden, Essendon seem to be playing the correct brand of football that we know them for. Well, they've opened up now a 33-point lead and uh, the Demons will have to certainly... Uh 
get rolling if they want to get back into this game because uh, yes, the machine could be up and running. And as Arthur has said, uh, they've looked dangerous and they've looked like they're going to step into top gear most of the game, but uh, now they've decided to do it. And Melbourne might be starting to look down the barrel, Arthur. Yeah, I think Kevin Sheedy might have had a few words to his players at three-quarter time there. He looked a bit a animated in the, uh, in the huddle. And all of a sudden, Essendon have got their running game going. Here we go again. Stephen Turner done pretty well in the ruck today. He's played a good game for Melbourne. Umpire says, I'll ball that up again. Very soft and muddy in the centre of the ground there after all the rain we've had midweek. So I think he might throw this in the air. No, he won't. He'll bounce it. Madden again and Turner in the ruck. The players swarm in from everywhere. There's the chance for, for Essendon to get it clear, but... Once again, the umpire will ball it up. Four and a half minutes play gone in the final term here at Windy Hill. This pro football game between Essendon and Melbourne. 18-7 to 13-4, Essendon in front. Well, Peter Cameron throwing the ball up in the air. Madden, Turner. And uh, once again, players all uh, descend on top of the ball and will be another bounce. Well, Essendon have won 11 straight uh, and haven't been beaten uh, since round 17 last year when they were beaten by Carlton, including the grand final. So... Uh, they're trying to keep this uh, running sequence uh, going today as uh, Melbourne send the ball down to the half-forward line. Uh, what's happening here? Thompson comes in to support uh, uh, Walsh. Walsh uh, and Thompson and uh, players just let it go over the line and out of bounds. Mark Weather has been a busy little player around the packs for Melbourne today, along with uh, almost his twin brother, it looks like, and little uh, Batterson. Both about the same height. Here's the chance now. Kicked away by Gary Folds, but almost straight up in the air. Thumped further away. Here's Batterson in again. Flicks the pass across and almost a mark taken for Melbourne there by Brett Bailey. Wood, his kick smothered. Another kick straight up in the air from a Melbourne player. Down it comes. Punched away by Madden. Kick clear again for Essendon. And here's the opportunity for Melbourne, but too slow. Almost... Uh, Penalised there for holding onto the ball. There's a push in the back. The free kick will go to Melbourne's Brett Bailey. Well, Six minutes gone. Melbourne players waving them further down the field. Here we go. Melbourne into attack. Driving the ball up towards the goal square. Almost marked there. Michael Reynolds. Kick off the ground. And is it through? It is. A good goal for Melbourne. Well, actually, got it over his shoulder there, Arthur. I think we should look at that on the uh, replay. And we see uh, we see the player, I think it, it's Michael Reynolds, and yeah, he just it is, flicked yeah. it over the top. Uh, looked like he was kicking off the ground, but he decided to kick it over his shoulder, and he popped it through. So that certainly was a good replay. So that takes the score up to uh, Melbourne's 14-4, 88, trailing Essendon, 18-7, 115. Seven minutes gone here. So Melbourne... Uh, come one goal closer but Simon Madden in the center oh good play there from the Demons all day he stopped that and it's picked up there by um, Newport. Stephen Newport and Newport gets it over to David all day and it's down there where uh, Thompson uh, Mark Thompson doesn't play a bad game for Essendon every week he gives a good account and uh, over to Frank Donnell and Frank Donnell sending it down to the center of the ground Jeffrey Rains little well tap played. over Simon Madden but uh, Brett Bailey uh, traps it, sends it down. Oh, up goes Glenn Lo uh, Greg Lyon, Kevin Walsh over to Brian Wood. And Brian Wood has played a very good game all day today. And uh, he sends it down there where Tony Elshaw hand pass over to Roger Merritt. Dangerous. Merritt, uh, oh, good play coming across then was uh, David all day. But uh, the Demons will clear this out the back. And it'll come down to the uh, centre of the ground. But nice mark to Shane Hurd. And uh, the umpire won't fall for that 15-yard uh, business, I don't think. And uh, Shane Hurd, just a little chip, I thought. Terry Danaher, and Terry Danaher certainly breaking up the Melbourne defence in this last quarter, especially since he's been down the forward line. Arthur, he's leading out and giving Essendon something to, to aim for. Short pass, and who's that but Roger Merritt. I thought Merritt should have steadied and had a shot at goal before. He was well within distance. Yes. It's uh, a good kick at the ball. Well, these two fellas, Merritt and Danaher... Uh, certainly controlling the forward line now. Well, Merritt has two goals so far. He's going for his third and the 19th for Essendon and should put it through from there. He's on a slight angle, not too far out of goal. Big Roger Merritt. 
In he comes for his third goal. On its way, looks pretty straight from here. The umpire barely moves. And there it is, the third goal for Roger Merritt. So Essendon, 19 7, 121 to 14 4, 88. We've been playing nine minutes into the final term here at Windy Hill. Well, I know, Arthur, you uh, suggest that I be the president of the Roger Merritt fan club. But, yes. Uh, I certainly. Uh, <laughs> I certainly think words can't describe that fella, the way he plays his game every week. He does everything like a small man as well as a big man. And um, so the Bombers, uh, 121, Melbourne, 88. There's Another Simon. poor bounce. Yeah, it's not good. Comes out there where uh, Stephen Clark, Winton now down on the forward line, chases the ball or kicks the ball off the ground from, uh, from his teammate and out of bounds on the Essendon half forward line. And this pro game, uh, pro football match at Windy Hill, last quarter. And uh, Roger Merritt coming in with David Alday. Comes to the ground. Overrun there by Stephen Clark. And uh, Young Withers clears it out of the back. No one there. Simon Madden, he can bend down. Uh, Simon's struggling to bend down there. As Chris Conley gets around. Well Good played. play. On the left foot. Into the centre. Half forward. Punched it well. Bradbury missed it, but Thompson backing up as usual. They always got time to think, uh, Thompson. Porker and the Dons come out of the back. Um, and it's Brian Wood. Played a very good game today, oh, Brian Wood. He was Wood, off Arthur. then. He was off, and the umpires called play on and pass across to Elshaw. Elshaw driving it up to centre half forward. Ball over the back. Here's the chance for Salmon. Salmon flips the hand pass away. Ezard has the shot at goal, and he's put it through. He is so dangerous, is Alan Ezard. He judged that one perfectly, took the ball nicely, popped it over the top, and it bounced straight through for another goal to Essendon. Ten and a half minutes into the final term. 20 goals, 7 one twenty-seven to 14 4 88. Well, the Don's getting away now, Arthur. 39 points, and they look like they've uh, taken control here. Yep, I think they've stepped up that gear we talked about. And, of course, we must remember that they'll be missing very much the talents of people like Timmy Watson and Van der Haar. So new players into the side, it's hard for them to mould in. Essendon haven't had that many changes over the last couple of seasons. There's Merritt, uh, I beg your pardon, Madden. But Melbourne getting it away from the centre. Connolly a little bit slow to Withers. Withers gets a hand pass away. Melbourne into attack once again. And it's Steven and wide. Good mark taken by Darren Lutet, who's gone up into attack now. And on the outer flank, there's his right foot kick, driving it up towards the goals. Over the back and punch clear again for Essendon. Chasing it out there is Brian Winton. His clearing kick up the wing. And is he going to pay the mark, or at least the foot in the back? Well taken out there for Melbourne by Stephen Stretch. Took the mark and I think got uh, half a point for the foot in the back. <laughs> Up high, oh, good, mark. good mark. Stephen He's Turner. Been playing well for them today. He's worked tirelessly in the ruck, taken a couple of good grabs up uh, in the centre of the ground. Big kick over the top. The chance is there for Melbourne's Eichold, but he can't get to the ball and it's paddled over the line and out of bounds. So they're only about a metre or so around from their, their goal, Melbourne. A chance for them to get a little bit closer in this game. Madden's in the ruck, and who's going to do battle with him? Very small frame of Gary Lyon there. Here's the kick at the oh, goal, and I think he's put it through. Gary Lyon. Bit of a snapshot off the ground. Not much noise from the uh, the Melbourne fans. There's not too many of them here at Windy Hill today. But another goal on the board for Melbourne at the 12 and a half minute mark. 15 4, 94 to 20 goals, 7 1 27. What you're saying about uh, Stephen Turner, he came from uh, Western Australia, unheralded. All the other clubs had the, uh, the big name. West Australians come across. Arthur, but uh, he came across unheralded and he's been quite a good player for uh, for the Demons this season in his first year. Simon Madden. Uh, then Melbourne come out again from the centre. Um, Brian Wood. Oh, oh, Brian Wood. Well, he's got the free or the mark. He certainly has played a great game today, Brian Wood. Experience, isn't it? Yes. Shane Hurd, Frank Donnell. And the Bombers go down to the half-forward line. And uh, Simon Madden. Oops. Come on, Simon, pick it up. Richards on his heels there, too. Yes. Oh, nearly in the back to Winton. But uh, Darren Williams. Oh, Ooh. great play by Melbourne. That's good smother. And they, you know, they're 39, 33 points down, but they're still trying to do all the things like smother and, and stop Essendon from getting any more goals. It's Peter Bradbury. 
as the ball goes over the line. Eichold again. Yes, and the young fellow there. Eichold, he's been in about three tackles in the last few seconds. Had the chance to get a goal there, but the ball didn't bounce his way. So Essendon breathe again. Ball thrown in. Salmon in ruck this time. Punched further afield there by number 12, Stephen Clark. Ball smothered. Wood flips the hand pass out, but picked up by Chris Connolly. Connolly driving it up forward. Eichold missed another easy mark. And Essendon will get out of trouble once again. Well, Peter Bradbury over to Frank Donnell. And the Bombers come out the member's side. No, should have marked that, uh, Stephen Stretch. Brett Bailey, Stephen Stretch gets the ball. Gets around his uh, teammate, David Alday. Little pass, and I think you'll find that might be Brett Bailey. No, it's not. It's number 34, Stephen Newport. So Stephen Newport... Uh, He's going to have a direct shot for goal. I'm sure that um, John Northy and his uh, selectors would be a lot happier with their performance here today at Windy Hill in marked contrast to their, their Tuesday night effort in, against North Adelaide. As I think you might find that it's a goal. The Essendon big fellow, um, Kevin Walsh, thought he'd uh, touch the ball, but that must have been over the line. So that's a good goal to Melbourne, and that brings them one more closer. And they get uh, to the tonne. 16-4-100. Essendon, 20, 20 goals, 7-127. And Melbourne come to 27 points uh, in arrears after uh, being 39 points down just about th three or four minutes ago. 15 minutes gone here. Last quarter at Windy Hill. Salmon in the ruck that time, pushes it out. Here's Jeffrey Rain streaming down the ground, a big kick up forward, looking for the tall timber up there, but uh, Madden couldn't mark the ball. Two or three Melbourne people in there too, and Terry Danaher. Danaher gets away with it. But the umpire says, bring it back and I'll throw it in the air. Madden scoops it aside. Here's the chance. Great snapshot that time by Terry Danaher, and that's a great goal for Essendon. Another one to Danaher. 21-7, 133, the fourth goal on the board for Terry Danaher, 16-4, 106. 16 minutes gone in the final term, so a quick answering goal that time from Essendon, just as Melbourne got a goal back to pull up within 20-odd points of Essendon, and Captain Terry Danaher snapped a beautiful left-foot goal for them. So he has four goals now, Merritt has three. They're the main goal kickers, and of course, Alan Ezard. Here they come again, Walsh. Couldn't get it away. Chances there for Williams. His right foot kick up to half forward. Ball eluding everybody. Here's the chance for Elshaw. He can't get it. Good play from Melbourne. They're in there. They're tackling and smothering, and that's what they got to do with. Essendon on the run now. 21-7, well, 133. Sorry, Ray. Sorry. To 16-4, 100. Well, they're 33 points in arrear as Darren Williams. Oh, good play, Darren Williams. Sends it up to the forward line. Terry Danaher again. He's the, the, the danger man, Ezard. But the uh, Melbourne side come back through da Dixon. Um, and they'll come out the back. Nice hand pass over to uh, Healy. And Healy has played a very good game today. Been their main goal kicker. But the kick wasn't so good then. And Glenn Hawker takes the mark. And uh, Hawker back on the ground. Uh, looked a bit poppy in the third quarter. But seems to be running freely now. As Roger Merritt uh, couldn't get it. Uh, Brian Wood. Yes, that seemed to be with the ball all day today. Oh, well played, Wood. Nigel Cole couldn't do it, and Frank Donnell. Now, here they go, Tony Elshaw. He's got plenty of time and plenty of room to move. His choice is uh, Shane Hurd. Hurd has a little stab pass, and Roger Merritt just... Uh, oh, I don't say he was off, Arthur, but he no. just strolled into his opponent to say, I must want to have a shot for goal. <laughs> so, the big fella. Roger Merritt. Kick three already. Going for goal number four. Wipes his uh, boots on what's left of his socks. And lines them up for goal number four. And the 22nd goal for Essendon. They've been pretty accurate. 21-7 so far. Here's Merritt. Over the ball. Should kick this one. On its way. Umpire barely moves. And there it is. Another goal for big Roger Merritt. And no doubt we'll now hear from the Roger Merritt fan club. No, I think that's enough for the day, Arthur. 18 it's... minutes gone so far, and Essendon, 22 goals, 7. Well, he's kicked four goals, uh, Roger, and so has Terry Denneher has kicked four, so uh, uh, 21, 22 goals, 7. 139, the Bombers. 16-4, 100 to Melbourne. 
So Essendon certainly lifted their game in this final quarter. No doubt the uh, words from Kevin Sheedy have had effect and they've started to run. They've started to look more like the Essendon of old. Paul Salmon in the ruck there, couldn't get it away. Pack of players dive on the ball and the umpire will ball it up. So uh, we've seen plenty of uh, changes in the ruck today by both sides all day and Turner for Melbourne. And of course, Salmon, Madden and Merritt for Essendon. Here's the chance for Reigns. Has a pretty good debut with him today. Everything he's done has been positive. And uh, I think the Essendon fans are warming to Jeff Reigns already. There's Danaher going for the mark. Couldn't take it. Nicely done out there by number 12, Stephen Clark. The ball is bundled over the, uh, the line. Clark will get the free. Plays on. The hand pass across. And here's Essendon into attack once again. And there's Terry Danaher taking the mark just about in the same spot where he snapped that magnificent goal a few moments ago. 19 and a half minutes gone, 22-7, 139 to 16-4, 100. Well, Terry Denneher, the Essendon skipper, going back uh, for his fifth goal. And using the drop punt. Should be accurate. No, he wasn't, uh, wasn't a good kick, but Terry seemed to uh, hold back on that kick as the Demons come out the back. Patterson, Conley, on to the left foot, sending it to uh, a nice mark there, and it's been taken by uh, Darren, Darren Lutet. Lutet. Yeah. And Darren sends it down to the forward line, uh, but Essendon uh, backing up. Trevor Spencer down in the back line now after being at, uh, down at full forward. Certainly moves his players around, Kevin Sheedy, as Thompson comes out of the back and sends it up to the half forward line. Uh, Roger Merritt, oh, great play, Roger Merritt to Clark, but uh, Melbourne come across and get it away from Daryl Burke, and uh, the Demons come out of the rear down to their half forward line. Good and mark. a good mark to that young fellow, nice Arthur. Shot. Yeah, he's the fellow that came into the side today. So, uh, Sung Simon Ishall having a shot for goal. What's he done? Oh, it's Paul Salmon. straight to Paul Salmon, and look at Salmon running like a rover, putting it out to the wing. Mark taken out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Walsh took the mark, fell over, got up, regained his feet, and away go Essendon once again. Walsh going down the wing. Out wide, Merritt's out there, couldn't hold the mark. Melbourne breaking in once again. Feeble attempt at a tackle there by Williams. Up high looking for it. There's Healy snapping at it again from the pack, and this could be dangerous. The ball bouncing towards the goals. Eichold has got hold of the ball. Hawker has got hold of Eichold, and the umpire has blown the whistle. And what has he said? Holding the ball. Fair enough, too. Now you're going to have to come back again. While there's a break in play, let's remind you that you can get your copy of Pro Football if you're an Essendon or Melbourne fan and you'd like to see this game available on video from your club. And if you just uh, have a little chat to the people at the club on Monday afternoon, they'll let you know when it's available. Well, Glenn Hawker sending it out the back. And a good mark there from Simon. No, it's Kevin Walsh. Kevin Walsh. I'd say you have a few nightmares, uh, all these big Essendon fellas yeah, they got out here. Yeah. You didn't sleep too well the night with Jonathan? No. <laughs> I'm assuring they, they tell me they don't put any stops in to keep their height down. Uh, Melvin, come out of it again. Uh, Withers, Batterson, and down to the forward line. Oh, young Simon Arshaw comes in. I tell Just you what, chance. he's a little left foot snap, and he's put it through. Good goal from the young fella. Point. Uh, oh, it's not, it's he's a point. It a point. I'm probably trying to push him up too quickly, am I? Uh... No, he had me fooled. I thought it was through. 22 and a half minutes gone, so one point. 16-5-101 for Melbourne. Bad luck for Eichel there. It was a good little snap and just turned away at the wrong moment. So it's Essendon 22-7-139. The ball smothered off the boot by Reigns. He's been a, a great player today. There's the chance for Withers, who drives it up towards the goal, and he's hit the post. So they're not having any luck. Two shots a goal in the last few seconds, two points, and they should have been goals. 16 6. 102 plays 22 7, 139. 23 minutes gone in the final term of this pro football match at Windy Hill. The Bombers have it wrapped up, there's no doubt about that. And here they go again. That's Heard. It's the ball onto Brian Wood, been one of the best players for Essendon today. There's been quite a few of them. Williams kicks it off the ground. The opportunity is there now for Essendon, for Madden. He can't pick it up. Merritt can. Can he keep his balance? He can't. He gets the hand pass away. And Terry Danaher almost caught with the ball that time, and the free kick will go to Melbourne. Good decision by the umpire that time. It's the kick. Melbourne into attack once again through Connolly. Driving it up to half forward. 
well played by Eichel, but the umpire's whistle is blown. The ball will come back. 22 7, 139, 16 6, 102, and 23 and a half minutes into the final term here at Windy Hill. So the Bombers have got this one wrapped up, but I don't think Essendon, uh, Melbourne can be too disappointed. They've stuck at their game all day, and uh, Essendon, as we know, are no easy side to beat. So I think John Northey will be reasonably happy with his charges today. Well, here's young Simon uh, Eichel, who looks quite a good prospect, this fellow. Not a big chap, not over. With pace, but he certainly knows where the ball is, and he knows where the goals are too, Arthur. And he pops that through, and the Melbourne side move on to 17-6, 108. Essendon 22-7-139, 24 and a half minutes gone here at Windy Hill. And as Arthur said, uh, I'm sure Melbourne uh, would be disappointed with losing, but at least their endeavour and their effort today it was a lot better than their effort in Adelaide on Tuesday night. They're looking a little bit tired towards this uh, end of this final quarter. A 31-point lead to Essendon, so they've done it pretty well, except for that third quarter when I don't think either side uh, did much at all, except oh. smother the ball. Paul Salmon in the ruck now, Frank Donnell. And uh, this has been a lot all day. Packs developing, and the umpire, Westgarth, will uh, ball, ball it up. Madden again with all day. Tony Olshaw kicks it out. Darren Williams handballs it over. Ezard, good play, but uh, couldn't be uh, trapped by Thompson. Uh, handballs it over. And here's Jeffrey Reigns. Back to Thompson. Good play, Reigns. thompson got another hand pass. He's got uh, Williams over to Ezard. Ezard has a shot for goal. What's he done? Across the face of goal and out of bounds on the full. Well... All the uh, play was there for a goal. But, uh, <laughs> Roger Merritt stands right on the line, gives him no well, about three inches in which to kick it back into place, so the umpire brought him back. <laughs> you can't do no wrong out here, Roger Merritt, Arthur. Uh, Notice that. Out of bounds on centre wing. So the game getting a little bit scrappy now in the final minutes of this last quarter with Essendon well in charge, 22-7, 139. 26 minutes gone in the final term, 17-6, 108. Melbourne punched away by Salmon. The opportunity now for Hawker, who bends down, picks it up well, gets his left foot to the ball, up goes Danaher. He can't mark it. The opportunity is there again for Shane Hurd. Diving on top of the Essendon player. Is that Darren Lutit? No, it's not. New Stephen Newport. Stephen Newport. So Newport to take the free to get Melbourne out of trouble. Oh, Ooh. good mark there. <laughs> David, all day. It's a little turn in the ruck too today, so they've yeah. been interchanging a little bit. Back again to Newport. Newport drives it up towards the centre of the ground. But Essendon far too strong there. Reigns helping to get the ball clear. Essendon into attack. There's Merritt saying, keep going, Jeff. Have a go. Have a kick. Jeffrey Reigns kicks it up towards the goal square. Up goes oh. Danaher. Takes the mark. Hey. Thank you very much. Terry Danaher already has kicked four goals. Coming up for goal number five. What a great so, kick, Jeff Reigns, then, Arthur. It certainly was. He's going to really fit in well. There's the goal for Terry Danaher, his fifth, after we said a very quiet first, uh, first term when he was playing in defence. Sheedy switched him to the forward line, and it's paid off, as it usually does with Sheedy. And Terry Danaher has kicked five goals. 27 minutes into the final term. And it's 23-7-145 to 17-6-108. Essendon really going away from Melbourne now in the dying stages of this pro football match at Windy Hill. Well, you can see why the Bombers were keen to get Jeff Reigns with Watson and Van der Haar unavailable. Um, he certainly fitted well into the Bombers' lineup, and looks like he's been playing here all his career. And he looks like he always seems to be doing it easy. Paul Salmon, Conley, Elshaw gets the chip out. In the air, Kevin Walsh. Oh, gee, no, umpire says play on. Crude Brian to say Whitten. the best. <laughs> <laughs> Over to Michael Thompson. Over to Roger Merritt. Oh. Roger says, let me have a look at it. I think I'll put my fifth goal That's on the board. And he says, thank you very much. And Roger Merritt put his fifth goal on the board. The Bombers 24th. Essendon 24-7. 151. Melbourne 17-6. 108. 28-minute mark. And the big fella did it like a rover, Arthur. I, know I must that agree with you. <laughs> he did it beautifully. <laughs> well, the, uh, the Bombers uh, have shaken the shackles off and 43 points in front. They certainly have got this game well won. 
at Windy Hill. And uh, be their fourth win in, in succession this year and would probably leave them on top of the league ladder. Well, they've got a big percentage break after two very big wins early in the, uh, the year, the first two matches. They had, what, over 200% at one stage. But here's Melbourne now through Chris Connolly. Gets his left foot to the ball, drives it up to half forward. Up they go. The chance is there again for young Eichold. Kicked off the ground, straight up in the air. This will be marked quite easily. Taken there for Essendon by number 23, Trevor Spencer. Dropped back into defence after kicking three goals. Tony and away they go once again. Look at this. Down the ground they come. Shane Hurd gets the hand pass, but Conley chips in. Hurd tackles him. Oh, a bit high there, but the umpire says let's play on. And away go Essendon into attack once again through Merritt. Merritt turns round onto his right foot, chips it up. Up they go. Taken by Madden. Madden gets the ball further afield. Another hand pass goes to Alan Ezard. And Ezard pops another one through for Essendon. 29 and a half minutes gone. 25 7, 157 to 17 6, 108. And they're doing it nice and easy. Well, they've got themselves in the top gear in this last quarter. And there's a warm up for the big Anzac Day clash this Friday with Carlton. And uh, well, the next two Essendon games are going to be against Hawthorne and Carlton and Hawthorne. So. The Bombers would certainly have to play like this as they have in the last 15 minutes in these big, the big games coming up. Certainly so, not uh, like they played in that third quarter. Certainly not, Arthur. But I guess you can only play as well as your opposition lets you, and we might be just taking a little bit off Melbourne's uh, effort today. Yeah. And uh, so, so the Demons hung in there for a while, and now Essendon have broken clear. Uh, Peter Cameron coming up to 27. Well, 30 and a half minutes uh, gone uh, now. As there they go. Yeah. It's Reigns. Great play. Heard. A little chip pass. What's he got? Uh, Williams. Well played, Williams. Hand passes astray, though. Yeah. And the players dive on top of the ball, and the umpire will call for it. They move it so quickly out of the centre with Reigns. He's had a great debut here today. Everything he's done has been positive, and it's come off. Well, as you said, uh, Arthur, in the third quarter, Essendon weren't, weren't doing that. They were no. going down the flanks for some reason. Merritt caught one too high. We'll take the free kick. Or will he give it to Ezra? No, it'll be Merritt. The, the lodger. I don't think he'd feel pain. So, uh, big Roger Merritt. Going for goal number six. Can he pop it through? It looks like he fell off the back of a council truck, but he can certainly play a lot better than that. As uh, the big lodger coming in for number six. And uh, I say you'll kick it. Oh, there. yes. And uh, his fan club all stand up and rise in the social club. And he's put through the Essendon's 26 goal. Essendon 26-7. 26-7, 163. Melbourne 7-6, 108. And that Rogers Merritt's sixth goal. 31 and a half minutes gone here at Windy Hill. And the Bombers have holding a 55-point lead. And most of that has come in time on. They've really crushed Melbourne in these few minutes of time on. Five or six minutes. They've really piled the goals on. Here they come again. But nicely thumped away that time by all day from the centre. Is the chance for Conley. But again, it's Essendon getting the ball out of the centre. Up high. Almost a mark that time to Williams. On the herd. Going to be another goal for Essendon. It looks pretty good. Magnificent goal for Essendon. So, as I said, they're crushing them in time on. There's another goal on the board. So, uh, what's that? A 61-point lead. 27-7. 169 to 17-6, 108. 32 and a half minutes gone. And I bet Melbourne are just dying to hear a siren. It was going to be about a 30-point uh, win to Essendon, 27 to 30 points, and all of a sudden, it's 61 points. There's certainly been has been an avalanche in the last uh, 15 minutes, Arthur, and uh, probably takes a bit of a gloss off Melbourne's performance because uh, uh, up to that stage they were 25, 30 points, 25 points down most of the game. So, um, Salmon uh, should have been on the shoulder of Tony Olshaw, and uh, he has been paid that. And the Bombers going direct now, straight down the centre. And Elshaw, a long kick of the ball. Up the back, oh. Terry down at her. And the Essendon, Essendon big men are uh, taking the, the mark. And there's the siren. I think you'll find Terry will have a kick for goal. I suppose all the crowd will be on the ground as they are now. And uh, Terry down her has a shot. Can he do it? Offline. Offline. No Touched. one point. So the final scores here at Windy Hill. 
Essendon, 27 goals, eight behinds, 170 points. Defeated Melbourne, 17 goals, six, 108. For the VFL mark at Meyer, real footy Guernseys, real footy shorts, and real supporters wear jumpers in all club colours and badges. Go for the VFL mark at Meyer. There's an old saying: never let sleeping dogs die. And my word, the Bombers certainly didn't in the closing stages of that game. From the 28-minute mark rattling on five goals to run out very, very easy winners. Principal goal scorers on the day, firstly for the Bombers. Roger Merritt finished the day with a six. Terry Danaher, five. Alan Ezard also contributed five. Whilst for the Demons, Healy, four, and Lyon, four. And the unfortunate news for Melbourne again, Brian Wilson having a disappointing run with injuries at the moment, and let's hope that that collarbone is not too severe. Next week, of course, Essendon have the real test. They, at the moment, sitting on top of the ladder, but... They have to take on Carlton at VFL Park. And what a great game of football that one is going to be. Melbourne also face a new challenge. They're up against the Sydney Swans. And just a reminder too, if it's pro football and your team that you'd like to see in action, then here is the tape that you can purchase from either your video store or your league club. Top pro football coming your way.